Hello, welcome. Uh, and this has to get muted. There you go. Mute. Perfect. Okay, now we're all set. Yes, I know, I'm one minute late. Unless you sent that before I actually start, in which case. But anyway, I'm, I'm a minute late. Welcome, everyone. We had BFAB here, Sacred Bricks, Jabba, Lord, Flores Bros, David Lego Lab, Brick Web Builder 18 Animations, and Blue Brick and Flare Heap. They were all here. Um, the majority of them were here before the stream actually started. But, uh, and then Blue Brick is still here. Okay. And Flare Heap probably is, I would imagine. Uh, yes, Flores Bros is here as well. Welcome. JK Films is here. Welcome. Hello. And all right, so I don't really know exactly what's going on here. Just figured I'd live stream because I was bored. Yeah. Ooh. So I don't know if anybody in the quest in the yeah if anybody in the question has chat, go for it. And I was attempting to figure out my weird audio issues. Um, I don't exactly know how to solve them yet, so, yeah. Uh, is this going to be a private stream? Define private stream. I don't know if I'll have anybody join besides BFAB if he wants to join. BFAB is my reliable co-host. I don't know if I'll have anyone else, though. So. Uh, I was looking for something. And do, do, do. Uh, Momo is coming, Jeff. I don't know what that means. So, okay. Favorite non-licensed minifig? Uh, probably, please don't have BFAB, he's always in every stream, give someone else a chance. I don't even know if BFAB will be around, so I don't know if he'll even join. Uh, we'll see, maybe if someone else shows up. Uh, don't, okay, I will not look it up. Uh, favorite non-licensed minifig? I'm thinking very, very likely something from CMF. And who is my favorite CMF? It could be the uh, could be the chicken suit guy, possibly. And could we? I like the party banana juice bar guy. Uh, that's a good one. The yuppie is really cool and very simple. Um, Rocket Boy is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think I might end up going with Chicken Soup Guy. Partially influenced by nostalgia. And Sacred Bricks is here. Welcome back. Uh, is it Marty or Doc? Marty or Doc are licensed. So it would probably be Doc Brown. It's, Doc Brown is probably my favorite licensed minifigure. Uh, I love the banana suit guy. I don't like the banana piece, but I love the shirt color and sunglasses. It looks great in my opinion. Yeah, it, it, there's a lot of really good detailing on that guy. Uh, and it's so much better than the CMF version. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Um, Flores Bros got to go to Walmart three times today. Yesterday at Walmart, my dad found the Rex Explorer set from the Lego Movie 2 for half price already, which is a little bit odd, but uh, I don't know if he bought it. I He asked me if I wanted it, and I said no, nah, because I honestly don't even care at $60. It's just not, not good. 
but yeah, I mean, yeah. It was weird that it was on clearance already, though. Uh, how's life? It's it's life. It's, it's yeah, pretty much. Uh, summary. Of a hundred thousand tabs open. Everybody in the chat, um, there is a petition out there. That you can sign to make sure that beef have by shells. Go do that. Someone provide a link. I could probably find it. But it has disappeared. Ah, oh, here it is. Found it. Don't worry. We have the link. I do not want. Uh, Oh, that's the wrong button. That's the link. Found it, Dory. This is a good price pressure. An equal amount of disinterest in his head. Yeah. It's. It's. Oh, um, my brick here. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, yes, I can. Hello. What's up? I was trying to mimic you when I joined. Like, all righty, brick by brick here. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, I, I don't. Maybe it was just my headphones because sometimes they do that, and I don't take the first like several seconds of audio. But you just cut in like in the middle of like like at the very end of a word, and you were just like, Ugh. and <laughs> that, that's all I heard. I don't know if anyone in the chat heard your attempted imitation of me. But yeah, that that was my attempt. I was trying to mimic you. Well, I thought I, I, thought I did a good job. I I hope you did. I mean, I, I can't listen to it. <laughs> And even if I go back in the live stream and play it back, for some reason you'll hear it. Like I'm, I'm gonna unmute my live stream right now, mm -hmm. and you're gonna hear it play through. I don't know why. I, I hope you did. I mean, see? Yeah, it does. Was, yeah, I don't understand why it never used to do that. Now it does. I need to fix my audio driver. So about yesterday, I wasn't trying to sound mean or whatever because, like, you know, I'm like, oh, I feel bad that I, you know, didn't invite you. The thing is, like, Greg's like invite these people. Only, and he's like, then we should be good. And that's why I'm like, oh, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's fine. I, no, but I felt bad, but I actually enjoyed when you were on the stream with everybody else. But I'm like, what do I do? Because, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not your stream anyway. Well, well I like I how you think that. about it, but I would have been pissed off. I'd been like, oh, my goodness, BFAB didn't invite me. I'm going to go destroy his channel. So. No, I was like, whatever, I'll just sit in the chat. You could fine. have destroyed my channel. You could have made that exposed video on me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll make that right now. We'll get on it. <laughs> yes. I made it. I'm famous. Did you get a good rest, says Galligade? No, I actually didn't. I had to go to work after that. Immediately after the stream ended, I, went, I headed to work. But, yeah, well, actually I did. Because here's the thing. I just woke up about an hour ago. Um, so I did, did get to get off work. So I got off at 6 a.m., but here's the thing, too. I got suspended, too, so I don't have to work today. Ah. That's, Yay. I got suspended. Yay. Let's celebrate. You know, in this case, I need a break, so yeah. I don't mind. And the thing is, I didn't get in trouble for something that, like, that I did wrong um, because uh, – shoot. No, stupid ads. Okay, sorry. Um, ah! Sorry. Oh, sorry. I just saw something really scary. Uh, okay. Was, uh, sorry. <sighs> okay, I need to take a deep breath. I just got a little traumatized right there. <laughs> it's a horror movie, Bella. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> so I got suspended. But you know, have, have you ever had to deal with Wick-related stuff? Uh, Wick. Yeah. Uh, not much of it. I had like a couple times back when I was a cashier, but I haven't yeah. been a cashier in like oh, a year and a half. Okay, so I, for people with the Wick little paper, they have to sign it, right? And so when people come in at 3 in the morning, I'm not always there, right? So the guy didn't sign it, and I didn't realize he didn't sign it, so I got in trouble for it. So, like, yeah, you get a one-day uh, suspension, but this has happened two other times. Uh, to you? Two other times? Yeah, yeah, where I've, like, not recognized they didn't sign it. And so I'm like, ah, oh, shoot. So, like, you're suspended. I'm like... Okay, I'll leave right now. They're like, no, we need the help today. You're leaving. You're not showing up tomorrow. I'm like, oh, that's what you think. You know, so. All right. Yeah. Uh, Luckily, I still have my job for now. Yeah. I don't think I welcome Galligate, but welcome. 
Uh, Flare Heap again asks why your sig fig is always mad. That's like the most popular question for people to ask you. It's the time of the month for him. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I have some dark humor. I'm glad you were streaming. I tried to before um, you started streaming, and I, I saw that you were um, going to go live. I contacted Eric. I'm like, Eric, you need to stream. He goes, no, I'm too busy studying. <laughs> Talk to you on Wednesday. I'm like, dude, that's what you said last Wednesday. All right. Yeah, I did most of my homework this morning. I have a lab for physics to write by Tuesday, but that's fine. It'll be easy. Yesterday during uh, during Jadeblade stream, I just did physics homework the whole time. Uh, wow, what a did anybody notice? It was so much fun. Yeah, you're. That's the thing. You're very smart, Jeff. Oh, two more people just signed the petition during this live stream. You're going to get shells, man. Uh, there's certain times where I hope certain petitions never work. This petition is by far going to work. Guarantee it. Did I just get a text message? It's 14% of the way there. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, the answer to that Brick Boy Builder is yes. Hey, Brick Pasta's here. Welcome. Brick Pasta's in the house. Wait, what? What question? Oh, it's a it's okay. an interesting question. All right, I want to see a question. I'm probably missing it, and I'll just ignore it. No, no, he he messaged it to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Gallagher is off to bed. Good night, Gallagher. You don't need to sleep. I have faith in you. You can stay up another fifty hours. Yeah, Beef Hub can. If Beef Hub can do it, so can you. <laughs> uh. What was I going to say? See, I always forget what I'm going to say. Oh, you know what was really cool? So yesterday I gained a bunch of subs, right? I was happy, yep. this, that, blah, blah, blah. I, I woke up and I had, I think it was like, and th this is the thing that sucks. So you won't calculate it because it's only for about a day, right? You know how like Social Blade will yep. keep track of it? So I have like 3,456 subs, right? I'm like, holy shoot, my channel's growing like crazy. It's probably because of that Toy Story review and being on Greg's stream, right? All of a sudden, I like an hour later, or two hours later, I look and I've dropped down to like, let's see. Okay, let me make sure that I'm saying all the details right. So, yesterday when we ended the stream, uh, I was at 3,856 subs, right? Yeah. I wake up today and I'm at 3,844 subs. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's good. Like, like YouTube is trying to take me down. Yeah. I would to get you. Yeah, they are. No, that just really sucks because I'm like, I was growing, I got a lot of subs yesterday, I was happy, and then all of a sudden YouTube's like, no, be fab while he sucks, you, you're a horrible person, we're going to cut that down, so. Hmm. YouTube, I'm coming for you. Everyone decided to subscribe to you during the stream, and they're like, they go back and rewatch, and they're like, oh, that guy was actually uncool, so we should just unsubscribe. That's probably what it was. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, um, yep. Gallagher still building the dying culture Jawa Jawa Lord asks any new Star Wars sets to you specifically. Any? Oh, have I bought any new Star Wars sets? I no, I have not. Unfortunately, I'm trying to think of a Star Wars set that I really want to get currently. I have to say the the Star Wars set that I want, like out of every single Star Wars set, which is going to be a surprise. Or no, I'm just kidding. It won't be a surprise. The Millennium Falcon. I need that. I, I which, need that. the UCS Millennium Falcon. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is the question I asked myself. Like, I saw it in the Lego uh, store display case. Where the yeah. heck am I gonna put it? Like, that's Get shelves I... and a coffee table for Millennium Falcon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you had, if you had shelves, be fab. You could put all the sets that are on shelves onto the sh or on your floor onto the shelves, and then your floor would be empty, so you could put the Millennium Falcon there. Oh, that is true. Lego <laughs> you know, I wish um, that. So there was a time uh, back in 2017, I believe it was, where I had the eight, like the nine hundred dollars put away for the Millennium Falcon. Right, I had nine hundred dollars put away to you know buy it. Yeah. And um, since it kept getting out of stock, I just gave up on trying to get it, and then I ended up spending my money on other stuff. But it's like uh, I wish it would have been in stock that time, but I would have owned it. You know. If you owned it, though, then you wouldn't have a place to put it, and 
it would just sit getting dusty, and you'd never have a place to put it, and it would just get covered in other Lego sets. I would just send it to you, Gaff. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, you think I have a place to put it? Uh, no, <laughs> that's a good place. That, that's a good point. If I had a UC, like if out of the blue I was just randomly sent to UCS Million Falcon, it would just sit in my attic probably. Like I don't have a place for it. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well, yeah. Jeff, it looks like you'll have to buy a house now. Just buy a house. You can afford that. Uh, I mean, not particularly, no. It's okay, Jeff. You'll find a way. You're smart. <laughs> but why would I want to buy a house at this point when I uh, don't have a job and no money? I mean, just, you know, living at my parents' house. I could teach you how to become a bank robber. I'm a pro at this, as I, you can tell. I thought you were a pro at lo robbing Lego from stores. <laughs> Not robbing money from banks. I mean, I'm a pro at anything. Okay. I'll buy it, sure. What will you buy? What? Uh, uh, your excuse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You building anything, sir? Me? Yeah. Right now? No. Yeah. I'm still at school. Oh, you are? Yeah. Are your roommates not there or something? Yeah, they're never here on the weekends. I'm oh. the only one who ever stays sometimes. And that's only because oh. I can't go home every week. Oh, that's okay. That makes sense. Yeah. So when do they show back up? Like a... Nine. Usually tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. Because one of them takes the train in the... Uh, one of them's weird, and, like, he takes the train here, and he, like, shows up at the morning, right... Shows up in the morning tomorrow right before his class, and I don't know. Something, something, something. And then the train crashes, and then, you know... Yeah, I don't know. And then the other one lives, like, ten minutes away from school. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. How far are you away uh, from your... Uh, My house is like 50 minutes away. Unless oh, you okay. accidentally take a wrong turn and end up at the Burlington Mall where there's a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> is that what happens a lot to you? My mom's done that twice. Where she's like, she was supposed to pick you up and then she just goes to Chick-fil-A instead? No, no, she, she comes to pick me up and then she's going back and she takes a wrong turn and we end up at Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's why you like Chick-fil-A so much. No, I just like Chick Fil A regardless. I, I like Chick Fil A before I started going to college. How do you feel in that? Fact, uh, I go to, sorry, I go to Chick Fil A less often now that I'm in school because I can't go to Chick Fil A because I don't have a way to get anywhere. You never take your friends' vehicles and just go places, or I don't have any friends. You don't have any friends. Not really. No, not in school here. Not they go to the same school as me. Fine, your roommates. Your roommates never do. They have cars or no? Not on campus. Not on campus. Okay. Well, I guess you just have to buy yourself a car then, right? Yeah. The Brick by Builder eighteen animation says we would make a great duo for a podcast. I can agree to that. Brick by Brick knows a lot, so. Yeah. I'm a podcast expert. I know everything about podcasts. He would call me out. He'd be like, "Bfab, you're stupid. That's not how this went." Yeah, we could call it the Bfab, you're stupid podcast. <laughs> That'd be a very great title. Everyone would be like, I have to click on this. <laughs> Just to see how stupid b is. <laughs> uh, it's funny because you're one of the few people, and I don't find it like this as a negative thing because you're at least, you know, you're not too good at a mean way. You are the one of the few people that actually call me out all the time. <laughs> I'll mean, be like, did you hear about this rule? You're like, actually, it's this. I'm like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> But hey, we're just nothing but the truth. Not, yeah, that is true, yeah. Mm. Well, like, I'll mess something up and be like, you're, this is how you say it. This is how you... I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Did you read the uh, Brick by Brother 18 Animations comment? Flair, what's your deal with Beefhab? He's annoying, yes, but that makes him Beefhab. Oh, that's what Flair keeps saying is annoying? No, no, Brick by Builder said, Flair, what's your deal with Beefhab? He's annoying, yes, but that makes him Beefhab. <laughs> so apparently your defining quality is that you're annoying. Oh, that's great to hear. <laughs> oh, I feel important now. A breakaway builder, 18 animations, is working on a mock from a movie I only like 10 minutes of. I bet I've said that about a movie, but I don't know what movie. 
Is it my my favorite movie is not PG, so I can't say it here. So uh, PG thirteen is acceptable. Oh, uh, it's like rated R. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, what what movie is uh, the only movie I can think of that I might have said that about is the Lego Ninja Dragon movie. That is rated Guard- R. <laughs> oh no 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 no! I'm t- uh, I'm addressing his comment. Guardians of the Galaxy two. Ah, uh, I don't dislike the rest of it. I just think that the last ten minutes are the only great part of it. Of Ninjago movie? No, no, Guardians of the Galaxy two. I, oh yeah, you know here's the thing, and I will admit to this live. I cried when Yandu died. Yeah. It was sad. There, there's some yeah. things in movies that really get to me. No, the last. 15 minutes of Guardians of the Galaxy 2 are the best 15 minutes of the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. But yeah. the beginning, like everything else in Guardians 2, is not very important. No, no, no. Once you get to those last 15 minutes, it so outshines the rest of the movie that the rest of the movie doesn't matter, and that's why it's not my favorite movie. You know, I like the movie. You know what movie I can't watch, which I think is horrible? I got to like an hour into it. Well, not even an hour. I got about 40 minutes into it, and I got so bored that I couldn't watch it. The, what? Uh, the rest of it, Thor Ragnarok. Thor Ragnarok is so good. Uh, I watched 40 minutes of it. I couldn't get through the rest of it. It's a, uh, You met Korg, right? Uh, yeah, the, yep. Korg is the best character in the entire MCU. And then the, I think the collect, not the collector, his brother was there? The Grandmaster. Yeah. Yeah. And then I don't think he met Hulk yet. I know. I think he was sitting somewhere... Um, or in like this holding cell area, and he got kidnapped by this like piratey girl, or you know this yeah. chick that yeah yeah Valkyrie yeah. So I think I got to those parts, but then I realized how boring. You got to watch the rest of it. it. the The film, the whole the whole movie is a metaphor for rock paper scissors. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't understand that, but I didn't. No, <laughs> I just said yeah. Wait, is Buttchop going to join? Did you yeah. send Buttchop an invite? Oh, I can send Buttchop an invite. I have not been paying attention to the chat for the last several seconds. I'll send Buttchop an invite. So Beef have cries for what? <laughs> I don't know. I'm still not looking at the chat. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's at work. Never mind. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, but I was so confused by the, the context because I thought I saw that word and I'm like, what are you talking about? Okay, I get their context. I'm not sending invites. Don't worry. I understand the context now. Uh, I'm never going to get this diner, diner done. I just opened bag three. How many bags are there? There's five. Okay. But there's multiple you, bags of each. You've been working on this for like over 24 hours. I have, yeah. Almost, almost 48 hours. That is true, yeah. I've just been taking my time casually building, you know? Yeah. So I gotta be cool like that. Yep. How far, like, bag three, are you on the second floor? I am starting the second floor. I'm building the, the base of it. Nice. Is I it, can't wait to see how this turns out. Uh, Jeff, do you own any modular buildings? No, unless you count Ninjago City and the docks, which I don't. Okay. They're not. They're modular compatible, but they're not modular buildings because they're not during modular. the summer, Jeff. When you, when you're working again, I want you to buy one. Buy a modular. I, have faith I, in I want the diner, but I'm waiting for it to go on sale. You know what it reminds me of? The diner reminds me of. I don't know if you've ever seen Kingsman, the second one. I was gonna say it reminds me of Back to the Future. What? I was going to say it reminds me of Back to the Future. See, I haven't seen that. but like, like You haven't seen Back to the Future? I Leave haven't. it to you now and go watch it. <laughs> it's it the best movie of all time. It doesn't seem that intriguing. No, it, it is the best movie of all time. Watch it. Uh, uh, it's the best movie of all time. Trust me. I'm not intrigued by it. You have to be intrigued. <laughs> it's, it's mandatory. mandatory it's mandatory intrigue. to be intrigued. You have to be. Dang, son. Let's yeah. Start. Um, what was I gonna say? Shoot. Are you forgetting? We found at six p.m. Central. If we're still alive by the time you return, then we can send you an invite. 
So you are paying attention to the chat? Or I'm kind of paying attention to the chat, but now I need to uh, I need to force BFAP to watch Back to the Future. Heck no. Uh, Diner reminds Jawa Lord of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, the worst Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> Uh, it, it is in Crystal Skull where he hides in a refrigerator to survive a nuclear bomb, right? Uh, I don't remember that. Uh, oh, Brick Pasta is also at work. You guys must, are you guys on break or do you get like I feel like Brick Pasta probably has like a private office where he's like you're working in his office. Hmm. Am I right, Brick Pasta? I feel like Brick Pasta is like a a boss or a manager or something. Jawa Lord, I don't like Thor Ragnarok. Breaking news, BFF subscriber count drops to three. Apparently that's an unpopular opinion, BFF. Also, <laughs> Brick Boy Builder also has an off. He's at that work too? Uh. Brick Boy Builder says Thor Ragnarok is good, but has the same deal as Black Panther. It's overrated. I disagree. I think uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, Black Panther is like a bad movie. Controversial opinion, yes. I think it was okay. So Brick Pasta Wait. says low close. So I guess that he is um uh, he's either like a CEO or something or like a boss of a company or something. Uh, but have you seen Black Panther? Yes, I've seen Black how, Panther. How can you sit through Black Panther and not through Thor Ragnarok? Because it was on Netflix. This is what I've been watching. Like when uh, these shows are on Netflix, so yeah. I didn't see Black Panther in theater. I saw Infinity War in theaters. During Brooklyn, Chicago, that was fun because I fell asleep during some parts of it. Um, How can you fall asleep during Infinity War? It was like, I think I went to the theater at like, I think it was 11, and then I think I got out at like 1 something or 2 or something. I can't remember, but um, that was an okay experience. Um, And then I saw Doctor Strange, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. I just watched like a week ago. I love it. Um, Ant-Man and the Wasp is awesome. Yeah, it was great. Like, I'm like, this is another great um, Ant Man movie. The first one was good. The second one was good. I have no issue with either of them. Yeah. Can't find any flaws with any of them. Both of them, you know, got their point across. Was they, they were all entertaining. Still, all had like the sense yeah. of humor to it. You know, so I loved them both. But I watched that on Netflix. So, and the Black Panther Wait, the reason I yeah. Question: Did you go back and rewatch Infinity War so that you saw the whole thing? No, I didn't go rewatch it. I don't feel like wasting almost... Well, it's not wasting, but oh, I, it is wasting. I don't want to yeah. waste another three hours watching it again. I, I've watched it so many times. Uh, Best Marvel movie. Well, yeah, I guess because you're in college. you can If you get bored, you can just, you know, eh. watch stuff. Right. Now, my plan is to rewatch the entire MCU in sequential order by the time Endgame comes out. <laughs> Except for Captain Marvel, that won't be in sequential order because I don't think it'll still be in theaters. But yeah. Are you happy for Captain Marvel? I eh. I'm gonna see it in theaters as soon as possible. Probably on the tenth. Oh, I would go the eighth, but my friends are gonna be back on uh, break on the tenth. So. Oh, nice. Are you? So, what are your thoughts on it? I'm Captain Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm um, gone. Um, you know, I've seen the negative reviews. Th- there are no negative reviews because there are no reviews out. Those are all yeah, the people, people who are, are like, th- those aren't reviews. Those are people who are like, no, it's the same people who like bomb critic or review bombed The Last Jedi who are like, oh, this is political and it's it's about a female superhero, so therefore it has to be bad, and we have to make people we have to make it flop because we can't have movies about female superheroes. That's unacceptable. I agree. That's what it I is. One hundred percent. No female superheroes in this world. <laughs> Anyone who's triggered, well, they're gonna have to deal with it. So that that's what the review, or that's what the negative reviews are. There are no actual real negative reviews. Yeah. So no female superheroes. All right. I agree. Uh, well, I can sign off on that. We only want male superheroes. No, I'm just kidding. No. My, my, um, my point is, I'm going to see it in theaters because Marvel has not disappointed me yet. So, you know, it's, it, it, I don't think it looks like the best Marvel movie ever, but I'm going to go watch it. I still want to see Aquaman. That's something I want to see. I have little interest in Aquaman. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I like anything underwater, so. I like anything underwater. Yeah. It's like Finding Nemo, your favorite movie? <laughs> fine. Uh, no. Uh, Finding Nemo is a good movie. Imagine Finding Nemo. Just picture of Lego. Made Lego sets for Finding Nemo. That would be I would love that. I'd buy any. I, I'll buy anything Lego and Pixar. So, I feel yeah. like that would have done really well. I don't know why Lego didn't do that. Like, obviously, they'd have to make a lot of new molds for all the fish, and they'd have to find a way for them to kind of like stand up. Yeah, but they like, could totally do that. They'd find a way to do it. I mean, you, have you seen the flounder uh, piece that they've done for the? Disney princess sets. Okay, yeah. They, they could do something like that for they every character would need a mold though, which is a little bit. Eh. Yeah, but I feel like the sets would that would sell like crazy. Like Lego already has that connection with Disney. I, I don't think they'd need. I I don't think there are many sets that you could make based off of Finding Nemo or Finding Dory. All you'd need is the main characters, really, and like yeah, but it's like. Like you could have a set of the reef or whatever with Marlin and Nemo, and you could have like another set. Like obviously, they would, if they were most realistically, they would have done them in 2017 to align with Finding Dory coming to theaters, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the the thing is, I still feel like they could have done that. Let's say they made one or two sets. Let's say they did that, right? Those would sell like hotcakes, right? I mean. Eh. You got like I mean Lego and Disney. If you're watching the stream for some reason, hire me. But Chuck says he watched Ant Man and the Wasp with Indigo, and it was a movie. So apparently, yeah. he didn't think it was all that great. Uh, uh, Jack, you really enjoyed it, though. I'm gonna have to send over my my team of convincers. So, 2029 movie uh, will be coming out called Finding B Fab. <laughs> you ain't gonna, gonna be able to find that. It, and B Fab will be a fish. Nobody can ever find me. I'm a ninja. I'm a secret person. So, so since you love anything underwater, if you ever made a movie, it would be underwater, right? It would be, yeah. Okay. Right. I just think it's cool, like the the CGI that they you know do for all these movies. It's stellar, you know. So, would you want a Namor uh, Namor movie? What I want to oh, a Na isn't that the villain in Aquaman? No. Namor is Marvel's equivalent of Aquaman. Oh, you're right. Yeah, I'm stupid. Yeah, I know who Namor he actually, is. He actually existed before Aquaman, too. I, I know who you're talking about. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. I'm just slow today. Butch Hop says Marvel movies are good if you don't watch them, and DC's horrible no matter what. <laughs> Marvel's movies are good if you don't watch them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's funny. I don't know. The only not great MCU movies are Thor the Dark World and The Incredible Hulk. <sighs> what? Thor the Dark World? I like that's, that that's, one. What? How, yeah. could you, how could you like that one and dislike Thor Ragnarok? Uh, the, um, what's it called? Wasn't that when Odin got killed, so-called? Uh, he got sent up to that heavenly realm or something. Uh, so the Dark World was the one where Jane Foster had the Reality Stone slash the Aether. Oh, that the one where she just like started like there's a like a staircase and things started falling through the. Uh, Probably, I don't remember many specifics of the movie. It's very unmemorable. Well, I remember they drop like a kid would drop a cannon and pop up and shoot shoot up from the top or whatever. What? You know what I'm talking about? No, I, I be aware. I don't remember Thor: The Dark World really at all. I haven't seen it in ages. <laughs> See, oh, yeah, was... Odin. Odin died in Thor: Ragnarok. In Ragnarok? Yeah, for real. Oh, at the very beginning. Oh, because Hela kills him Rag okay. right after destroying the hammer. Wasn't Ragnarok? Wasn't Loki uh, portraying Odin at the very, very beginning? Yeah, and then right after that, uh, they find the real Odin, and Hela kills him. No oh, spoilers. Just uh, I had to say that's that. right at the beginning of the movie, and it's basically in the trailers. Yeah. Well, here's the thing: those movies are old enough that if you don't watch them, well, that sucks for you. Um, Odin. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> The John Lord said, CGI was Thanos, not a real actor. 
<laughs> well, okay, so Josh Brolin voices Thanos, and I'm pretty sure he had to wear those little like yeah suits or yep. whatever and walk around in those. Or yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, but you know, technology these days and CGI is like beautiful. You know, watch out the spoilers in Marvel movie. There's a bad guy who wants to do harm, and then some other some guys stop them. Actually, that's that's not true in Ant Man and the Wasp. There's no bad guy. Oh, let's see. I mean, that's, that's one of the things that was interesting about it. No it's, one was actually like there weren't bad guys. There were antagonists, but none of them were bad. Yeah, I, I guess that's a fair point. I mean, Ghost. Um, yeah, she wasn't even bad. She just wanted to help herself. Yeah. I need to buy that set. Holy shoot, I need to buy that before it retires. I can't that I miss out on another Ant-Man set. <laughs> I I, I kind of want it, but at the same time, I kind of don't care. I don't know. I need to go back and get the other one. Wait, does the, the ghost set have Scott Lang, or does it have uh, the old dude? It has Scott Lang. Which is an ac- movie accurate, which is weird. What? That's accurate. No, because in the, in the person who was riding the vehicle well, wasn't Yeah, Scott but Lang. like, the... Wasp wasn't there either. It's the, you could think of that as while well, they're still in the real world in the lab before Hank goes into the quantum realm. Yeah, I guess in the background. But you know that means I need to buy the other one. The the reason I didn't buy the first uh, Ant Man set was because they had that production recall, right? And yeah. I'm like, I'll wait till they redo it and then I'll get it. Well, by the time they redid it. It was they, only in stores for such a short time. I didn't get my hands yeah, on. It. They basically just pulled it completely. Like they, they created the redo, but I don't think they distributed it really. Yeah. Well, I need to find a way to get that set because that. But it goes for like sixty. Or it used to go for like sixty. That's expensive, and because I want to get that old dude as a minifig, and I want to get Yellow Jacket too. So Yellow Jacket's cool. I don't really care about the Hank Pym Ant Man. He's so good looking though. Eh? And I'm straight. <laughs> I always have to tell people that because people think I'm, you know, not straight. Yeah. I wonder why. Brick by Builder 18 animations says Superman's mustache cropped out in Justice League is one of the seven wonders of CGI. Bad disappearing lady was bad. She was gonna kill Ant Man's daughter, Ant Junior. Oh yeah, you're right. And not not and she was only gonna kill him because they needed to. She was only gonna kill the, kill him because she wanted to help herself. <laughs> but I feel like the ant is worth more than her. You know. What? The ant is worth more than her. No, what ant? The ant. What ant? The ant. Which one? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know their name. <laughs> I don't know what ant you're talking about. I don't Antonio? think there's actually. I don't think there was actually an ant. What ant was she trying to kill? There was a, a bunch of ants. Ant Man's little friends. Yeah, but like, why? Why are we talking about her trying to kill an ant? Yeah, because that proves that, proves that she's a killer. Uh, she was gonna kill Ant Man's daughter, Cassie, not an ant. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was, and then that uh. Gap tooth uh, guy, uh, what's his name? Uh, which one? Well, is there somebody else with a gap too? What? No, uh, I, I don't, I, I don't know who has a gap. The the African American actor, what, uh, Luis. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he told her not to go after the daughter or whatever. No, oh no, no, not that guy. Luis is uh, Luis has the van. No, that was uh, Bill Foster. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, I don't remember characters' names all that yeah. well. Oh, Lord, gap to the guy with Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, that's right. That, that's the actor who plays Bill Foster. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, yeah. So it's like, what? I I sound like I'm being mean to his gap, but I have a gap too, guys. So. Like, every time people see me, they try to slide their credit card through my gap, you know? <laughs> I think it's like a little ATM little slot thing that they, you know? Is it? They're like, there's no money! Where's the money at? You know? So. Yeah. Also, if I sound really dumb today, or if I say really stupid things today, just so you know, I did wake up like an hour ago. Like an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes ago. Yeah. yeah. So, Yeah. 
plot of every 20 MCU movies. One of the stupid characters dies and they defeat a villain. No one died in Spider-Man Homecoming. I need to watch that still. I wonder if that's a You haven't seen Homecoming? I have, dude, I want to see it. I just haven't... Homecoming is like... Did you see Into the Spider-Verse? I didn't, know. You have to see that, too. Those are the two best Spider-Man movies ever. I wonder if it's on Netflix or Hulu. Do you know if any of those are? Uh, I can. Spider Verse isn't because it hasn't even come out on digital. That is true. That's just not really. Yeah. It comes out on digital in like, uh, in like a month ish. Uh, do it doesn't look like Homecoming's on Netflix. I just searched it. I don't have Hulu, so I couldn't check. Oh okay. Though you left in the dark, unless it's stopped by you. You gotta watch Spider Verse. What? You have to watch into the Spider Verse. I love the song though. Uh, that's not my favorite song from the soundtrack. Disappointed. So I have the Winter Village set. Uh, I have all of them at this point. Do you have the uh, fire station? Yeah. Oh, you're right. You do. Yeah, yeah. I do. You got that recently, right? Like a couple months ago? I got it for Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a beauty, right? Did you build it yet? Yeah. I have a review filmed. I don't know if I want to release it or just wait until next Christmas. Because I'm kind of like way behind on releasing videos. So, yeah. I can tell. I remember where you used to get like 80 um, notifications from you. Uh-huh. Well, I, I have a ton of videos, but I don't want to like release them all in one day. I have like a whole folder full. I wish I had the motivation to make videos every day. Like, I was going to, you know, work in March, uh, work in post. Yeah, I can't even speak today. Um, I was going to film a bunch of videos and script a bunch of videos for March and then release, like, a daily video every single day for April. But, you know, yeah. But I've been too lazy, so, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm so tired. I've been sleeping since like 7 a.m. and I didn't wake up to like like 4 something. It's like it's like 8 hours ish. Yeah, but I'm, I'm still tired. It's like, no, that, that's even that, that's like 9 hours. I don't know. Sometimes when you sleep too much, you just feel sleepy and your body just wants to sleep forever and ever. I died, you right. <laughs> no, I have like I have like fifteen videos completely edited. Dang. Yeah. You're on a video grind, and the thing is that I can respect about you is that you talk forever. So that's not a negative thing. Like I never understand. Like let's say you got a haul and there's like one product in there. Like I think you you did a video where you got like a DFB mini fig or a few DFB mini figs or something and a few other mini figs and stuff. And the video is like thirteen minutes. I'm like, dude, how do you make this video thirteen minutes? And I, I have no idea. And I wish I could make it shorter, but I'm too lazy to cut stuff out. No, that's good. Like I wish I could find a way to talk that much. No, but nobody's gonna watch the whole thing. You know, that's the thing. What is your average watch time? Like, mine are really like, low. I, the thing is, none of my statistics matter because 90% of my views are on those Toon and Jago music videos. So my oh. average watch time is, like, two minutes. But that's because those Ninjago music videos are, like, three minutes long. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I, so I, I can't really figure out an actual statistic. Yeah, thanks to you, every time I watch a video, it's like, this is my fight song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah, I'm like, ah, I was trying to listen to Legends of Chima song. Uh, bunch of best to get ready to punch out and go home. And then he has to clean up his leg of this in the dining room. And quick question is, what face does the screensaver fig have under the mask? Why don't you go watch my review, Mr. Blue Brick? Ha ha ha. Just kidding. It's actually, uh, it's a black head with, like, a face that kind of looks like Winston Devers. Now I kind of want to start singing, you know? Okay, go for it. <laughs> oh, you're like, oh, just go for it. Now, now that, that Spider-Verse song is now stuck in my head that you mentioned it, but I haven't listened to it for a while, but I was jamming to it. Like, when I was listening to it, I was lasting it to, like, 50 times a day. And now it's like... You know, yeah. 
Now it's stuck inside my head. Head. Yeah. So, yeah. You still alive, Jeff? Yeah, I'm still alive. Okay. I'm only half dead. You're dead on the inside? Uh, no, no, just my left side. My right side's fine. Inside oh. and out. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab myself an energy drink. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Apparently, beef is good according to Brickway Builder 18 animations. Uh, let's see. Did anybody in the chat get anything cool and new in the last 16 days? Specifically, sixteen. It was seventeen days. I don't. I don't care. It's not cool anymore. So I'm just sing one of those songs. He's not here, so not at the moment. Uh, Java Lord got the Juniors A Wing and the regular X Wing. Uh, so, not the Juniors X Wing, I see, right? Uh, and both of them are pretty cool. That's cool. The Juniors A Wing is probably the coolest uh, Junior Star Wars set. And Brick by Builder 18 got the, almost got the HP Brick Tower back for 15 at your Barnes and Noble. I got it back when they did the promo. So, I saw that they were available for 15, but I was like, eh, I don't really need more. And Brickspiration Studios is here. Welcome. Hello. How is it over in the land of Brickspiration Studios? Also, what are your thoughts on the regular X Wing, the new helmet vault? Junior's Tie 2 just not interested in the Junior's X Wing on this latest. Yeah, it's it's just not cool looking. I wouldn't be interested either if I were you. Uh, pretty good. The power has been flickering though. Ooh. That's always fun. If Beef Hab gets back. Tell him to sing one of those songs. I don't know. Um, Brick Pasta is telling Butch Up to clean up his Lego. He's not at home yet. So he cannot. New helmet isn't good, honestly. I think they should have left the old mold. You feel the same with the Stormtrooper helmet, but the new Scout Trooper helmets look perfect. I like the new Stormtrooper helmet a lot, actually. I don't have one in my... You know, I don't have one. I haven't seen one in person, but... It looks good, all the pictures. No one else likes it, though. Brickspiration Studios also doesn't like it. Uh, the new Scout Trooper one does look really good. And... Is the Death Star Escape 30? I think so. Probably. You preferred the model before the the mold or the model of the X-Wing? I, I'm assuming you're talking about the... Actually, I don't know. Because if you're talking about... Oh, wait. Oh, no, you don't want it now. Okay, the mold before the new. There were so the for the original stormtrooper mold because there have only been two stormtrooper helmet molds. They've just had different printings. So if you unless you just meant first. Uh. 
Especially like the new Smurf helmet, you just think the 2014 one is perfect. Uh, I think, I think the new one's an improvement, but I didn't have a problem with the 2014 one. It was something that I didn't think needed updating, but I like the updating, even if it was a tad unnecessary. Did I see the end game sets? Any thoughts? I like the War Machine Buster one. Again, I'm probably not uh probably not going to be buying it. I like the new Amen helmet a lot. I think it looks great. Uh the build of the War Machine Buster is fine. Um I don't really like the build of the Quinch uh, the build of the Quinjet, and I'm glad that Hawkeye just has the uh regular well, I'm not glad, but since he he's in that set but only has the quantum suit, then I don't need to buy it. Because I just want every version of Hawkeye, and I already have a Hawkeye head and hair and quiver, so. I could just get an extra Iron Man poly bag. But yeah, if I were to buy... And, and the Captain America bike is... Eh, I mean, I guess... Cap's helmet is all right, but mm -hmm. yeah. If we don't get a Ronin minifigure, I'll be angry. I might see a trooper on its own instead of getting the entire set. You like the old sketch uh, helmet, but you know it's a huge improvement. Uh, the new Jurassic Park sets look good. I'd agree with that, except I don't like the biggest one. Just because I don't care about a T-Rex mech. I really, really like the fact that we get all four colors of Baby Raptor, though, in that one. So, I want those four. I might just buy them separately, because I don't think I'm buying the full set. The Triceratops is cool, but it'll make the one that I have go down in value. Expiration likes the mech thing. Is there no talking or something? Is this what? like a mute stream? I, I'm here. Okay. I was just drinking. Drinking and driving? Yeah, definitely. I'm totally live streaming while driving. Wow, you're so cool. Eric used to do that. <laughs> Yep. I, I don't have a car at school, but I'm, I found a way to drive. You found a way? You stole a car? <laughs> so I actually decided to make myself a protein shake instead. I grabbed an iced tea from the fridge. You probably stole your friend's iced tea. No, I have like, I have on my dining plan, I have like a, a ton of money that can, like I have way too much money that can be spent at dining places, and I'm never going to use it, so I just buy a large amount of iced tea and just drink a large amount of iced tea. Nice. Yeah, it's a... Yeah. <laughs> this is called a drinking stream. We're yeah. Both drinking. Drink. We just drink the entire time. We are drinking! Jeff, I you you know how you said you don't have a lot of friends. I feel like you do. Ah, eh, debatable. Okay, and this is a, don't take this as a, a thing that's offensive, but I feel like you probably have like a really like uh, a you. How do I say this? I, I don't want to sound offensive. I don't care. Be offensive. Go. No, it's not meant to be offensive. But I'm like I feel like you like hanging out with a crowd that's like really like into like nerd type stuff. You know. Eh. Right? I mean, I, I guess. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. That wasn't meant to be offensive because you're really smart. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, I have, like, I have several friends, but not really any at school here. I have friends from high school. Like, I, I have two good friends. Uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's about the about the total. And oh, you know what? You just added, I, I get included now, right? Do, do I get included? I, I was talking about real life friends. So you're in a separate group of online. <laughs> what friends. are you saying? I'm fake. <laughs> no, you're you're like you're you are in the context of school, right? 
Mm -hmm. And in real life, I have two physical people friends, and you are an internet friend. Yeah, an internet friend, but you're in a separate group from the real life friends. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I made it. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, uh, that's a cool thing. Well, yeah. Brick Spirit cool. Studio says you chat with the small YouTubers. Mad respect for me. But that's because I am a small YouTuber and I just have a ridiculously inflated sub count because it's some stupid Ninjago music video. Doc Samson's here. Doc Samson! Yeah, he's talking to me. I'm a small ass. I'm a small YouTuber compared to him. Sorry. Jawa Lord says, BFAB, we're all like high school, college age talking about Legos on the internet. I think we count as nerds. Fair point. Yeah. Though, surprisingly, people would be surprised. The most people that I hang out with are gang people. Let me rephrase that, okay? Gang people. Gang people. Are you in a gang? Well, a lot of my friends are into the wrong, you know, stuff, so. Yeah. The thing is, like, for me, it's like, since I'm such a, a recluse, so, but the thing is, when I do hang out with people, it's always, like, my friends that are doing illegal things, so. Not trying to say that's a good thing. Don't do that. But, yeah. Yeah. My friend's like, look, I just made all this money doing this and doing that. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like, where's my cut? They're like, you don't get a cut. You wait, you want to join us? now? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I really don't want to end up in jail. <laughs> They're like, well, you can make a lot of money. It's worth it long time. No, it isn't. Okay. Then they get caught and they get charged with like a felony or whatever. And they're yeah. like, I can't I, find a job anywhere. I, I don't think their reasoning is correct. I don't think it's worth it long term. I think it's worth it short term because you get the money short term. But yeah. then you go to jail. So in the long run, it's bad. <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. No, nah, it's, it's, it's good long term because once I get out of jail, I'll have all this money. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, I just bought three cars. I'm like, how did you get three cars? Do you really want to know? Yeah. Well, I did this. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. I actually don't want to know. <laughs> That's what you asked. But yeah, it's like for somebody like the people I've grown up around, at least when, you know, at least like who I associate myself with, like. I'm surprised I'm into Lego. Like, this is what I do for fun, you know? Yeah. They go out and steal cars for fun. I, oh, I do have a friend that literally he was on. Um, so his name is Antonio. Shoot, what's his last name? I think if you go on, like, a type of, like, Antonio Eau Claire, he he mugged a taxi driver, and he was one of my close friends. <laughs> Uh, how how PG is your stream? You don't mind if I get yeah. to PG thirteen, right? No, PG thirteen is fine. I had another friend who, uh, was he a friend? I don't know, but I thought he was gonna spend his rest of his life in jail. He shot his dad in the face. Yeah, and his life, the rest of his life in jail. He didn't know, so I looked, and he's actually on Facebook now. So, uh, when I was at the treatment center, um, there he was a really nice kid. He was a year younger than me. He was always really quiet, and I asked him what he did. And he, he first didn't tell me, and then he finally told me only, right? And so I looked up his last name, right, just for yeah. research to figure out if, like, because he was 15, I was 16 at the time. And so I'm like, I didn't believe him. So I looked up his last name when I got out of the treatment center, and his last name, I'm not going to say, well, his last name is Lavasser, right? Okay. So I looked up his um, last name, and all of a sudden you see a story like, oh, uh, Minnetonka teen shoots dad in the face or something, right? And I'm like, they don't, you know, mention the kid's name. And I'm like, holy shoot, I know the kid, you know? So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the story of my life. Uh, is, isn't that actually the story of some other kid's life? It is. But I just think, you know, like the people you meet, it's like, yeah. it's crazy. But the kid was such a nice, quiet kid. You never expected that, you know? The thing is, he felt really bad. I remember I was talking to him, like, do you want to run out of here? I said, you're going to go to jail for the rest of your life. I'm like, I can help you escape. <laughs> and he's like, no. He's like, he's like, I need to face my consequences. He's like, I hurt my dad. He's like, I didn't mean to. He's like, I was just so angry, you know? Yeah. 
but yeah, it's like you, you do meet a lot of interesting people, you know? Yeah. That's why I need I need to start a story time channel. Yeah, you do. I you do. should really you release your gun video. I want to, but I'm you know yeah. I mean, the base it's done. The the video's done, but it's like uh and just do it. Uh uh uh, <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Like it's something I was like passionate about that I changed my mind. That I was passionate about that I changed my mind. You've been thinking mind. about it for like months. I have, yeah. I, I think you should flip a coin. <laughs> a, a digital coin, right now. Ready? Flip. Oh, said no. No, no. We got, we got to flip a coin. Watch. <laughs> flip a coin. Oh wait. Okay. Wait. So you're gonna have to. Is it? This, this is what we got going on here. We got flip a coin. If I search this again, it'll flip a coin. You're gonna have to call it heads or tails. Heads. So if it's heads, you don't release the video. If it's yep. tails, what? Yep. Okay. So if it's heads, you don't release the video. And. Okay. It looks like you're releasing the video. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> tails. Everyone, you can expect that video to come out on DFAB's channel at some point. <laughs> at some point, yeah. Also, it was Sarcasm Blue, but apparently he just left and watched my Incredibles 2 review and then came back. If you ever want a really in-depth review, like Gang Brick style... Brick by brick is the next best thing. Uh, they're really like the lighting's not good, and the uh, yeah, but they, the on forever and ever. That's the thing. That's what people like. Some people really like that. Like some people. Like I remember, I did a whole video where I got the Atlanta set, and I rambled for like three minutes about that one set. And yeah. I thought, I thought to myself, why did I do that? You know. <laughs> yeah. But I guess people like when I added the story aspect to it. Hmm. Uh, the Avengers Tower set is 100% rumored to be an Avengers base with Hulk, Thanos, Ant-Man, Microfig, and Formity Figs. One of the many figures is an Outrider. So he hopes the other three are Iron Man, Cap, and Ronin. I doubt Ronin would be in the Avengers base set. Ronin would be like in a small set by himself. Would be my guess. I'm just pumped but, to get the sets because you know how um, I think I already told you this. Just to go to order the poly bag, he got his recently, so I'm guessing I'll get mine recently too. We ordered from the same. You'll seller. get yours recently. No, I was saying just who good got his like yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He did said, the... But what you said was he got his recently, so I should get mine recently, which is not <laughs> grammatically correct. You know what? I'm tired. I will get mine soon because he yeah. got his. You know. Yesterday, I'm guessing I'll probably get mine on Monday. Probably, and I'll do a review on it. Hopefully, people still want to watch the review because I I'll mean, watch your review. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate that. I mean, I know the review will do decent, even though Jessica did a review first. But I'll be like the second one on YouTube to review it. So, yeah. are you sure? Hopefully, I am. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up right now. Um. Uh... Got just two goods review, and that looks to be the only one. So I will be the second one, baby. Unless Ryan ordered one, there was six salads. So I think Ryan probably ordered one. Just watch Ryan get his next. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh no, this is just an image of the poly bag. Okay. Um. Oh no, I found some guy named Baycrafter J L J. He has the poly bag in his hand. Dang it. Did he... Uh, how much uh, views does his video have? 126. So not many. I can outdo that, I think. Yeah, you definitely can. I'll just tell Jessica good to promote my review. I'll send him a, a message. I'll be like, hey, Jessica, good, you want to promote my review? Over yeah, here? I'll be like... Hey, everybody, don't watch my video. Watch b <laughs> And that's a good decision for just too good. Yep. Yeah, yeah. 
I wonder how well Just Do Good's videos do. I mean, I can kind of gauge how well mine will do based on that. Because, like, yeah. I remember when Just Do Good reviewed the um, the Builder box, and he beat me to getting my, his, his, like, a week before, or uh, three days before. What? No one whatever. cared about those, right? Well, the thing is, my review video has a thousand views or something, or close to that, which I was surprised that I reviewed mine a week later, but I don't. I kept delaying it after I saw Just Do Good reviewed it, so I didn't think anybody cared, but I guess they do. I mean... I didn't think anyone cared about the set at all, even still. Like, I don't think anyone's bought it. I don't know. I bought it. No, you didn't. I stole it, you're right. No, I was going to say it's a false memory implanted in your head by the government. That too. Yeah. Holy shit, I barely have got anywhere. I probably like, down like 20 pieces of bag three so far. Did you oh, build the Did you build the rock star dude? Uh, I have not. No. Uh, is he in bag three or is he in a later? Bag? I, mean, I think he's probably in like bag four or five. Wait, do you build the car before the building? No, you don't. Okay, the car's at the very end. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah. Oh. Okay then. Oh, I forgot to check off women of NASA in my own list, Brixa. I realized recently I've been forgetting to add a few things to my brick set, so. Yeah. Oh. I, I love brick set. It's so helpful, you know? Even though it's not 100% accurate, I wish it was, though, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it, it's pretty accurate for what it is. If you're not looking at parts, it's yeah. accurate, pretty much accurate. But, like, example, you know, like for the DFB minifigs, I spent yeah. a lot of money getting them. And I wish they'd take, like, the, the money it costs in uh, pounds or whatever and convert it to. You know, dollars. Oh, does it not? Um, it doesn't have a retail price. Yeah, that? it has nothing. Yeah. Ah, okay. I mean, to be fair, they were never sold here, and if they converted it to retail price to add to your collection, then that would imply that you could have bought them at retail price. At, uh, the I guess. I guess that makes sense. I think they could easily do that, but I think that they intentionally don't. <laughs> Yeah. Well, also, an example, Comic-Con minifigs. Like, they don't add those values to anything either. They don't have a value. Yeah. The thing is, like, I would say, like, average it. You know, kind of give you, like, a like a average value. Yeah, if they, if they could do... I wonder if there's a setting that you can mess with, because they do have the current value. Um, yeah. Like, statistic. I wonder if there's a way that you could get your collection valued that way. There's, like, an advanced setting unit, or whatever. Or advanced like, collection manager. Yeah. I think you can that. change and like add what you paid for the set or whatever, which yeah. is fine. But it's like, eh, I don't know. I just, I just wish also bricks that had a higher quality images. Like the majority of them are decent, but like when you try to like use them for a video, or whatever, they end up looking like garbage. How so? So if I download an image from bricks that right, yeah, and I use it for a video, yeah, the the quality usually is like kind of faded a bit, kind of faded. Yeah. That's not a normal thing to occur when you download an image. <laughs> okay. They, they don't have... Okay, let me take back what I said. They don't have the highest quality images, which I feel like... Highest I'm, resolution or highest quality? Uh, quality. Uh, quality has to do with, like... Like, these are LEGO's official images. Quality is just the way the image looks. Well, you know, they, they, they have cr crappy images there. A, cra a crappy how, though? They, they just don't look good. They look good. How Why? do you... When you download the image, do you just, like... You want an argument, Jeff, yeah, you want. Do you, you up? <laughs> do you download the full resolution image? Yeah. And it looks crappy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know. You want Jeff. Yeah. I give up. I give up. I, give I, up. I don't know if I... Agree with you, but I don't understand what you're saying. I'm slow. That's my excuse. Okay. Sure. Uh, back to chat. Jow Alert hopes they release a new V Wing. Didn't they just do that? I think that was a Y Wing, right? Was no, no, the V Wing. Didn't they do that in like 2015? I don't know what the the V wing is. I don't know what that is. The V wing is the one that's like an A wing but long. Oh, they did one in two thousand fourteen. 
And they also did like the fancy Imperial one. I, d I doubt we'll get one of those again because that was expanded universe stuff. Jeff, I'm gonna blame you for me building this, okay? Is that fine with okay. you? Okay. Yeah. I will okay. gladly take the credit for you building it. <laughs> you know, you just gotta always blame somebody for something. Yeah. You know? Yeah, blame me all the time. All the time. Yeah, all the time. Everything. It was all me. It was all you. Um, yeah. So, what's it called? I think Jester made a post on his Patreon thing that we might be get hearing, like, uh, information this week for more Lego sets, maybe Infinity War. Uh, I don't think we're getting more Infinity War sets here. I mean, <laughs> Endgame. He made a post on Patreon. He's like, um, we're hope I'm hoping that we get some images for Endgame sets this week or whatever. And I know that he said hoping, but last time Jeff Stugan said, you know, we're hoping we get images, we ended up getting images, you know? So I'm I like, whatever. I just want to see, uh, what see the images of the remaining Toy Story 4 sets. Yeah, I, I can see what you're saying. I well, Only because I will buy those and I won't buy the Endgame sets. Yeah. Disappointing. What? Why is it disappointing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. I, I just felt like saying disappointing. You know something that I realized, right? I know a lot of people don't like those new Toy Story mini figs, but after I think I already told you this, but after holding Woody in my hands and comparing up to the other one, I like this Woody better. I, I and I'm pretty sure we talked about this the other day, and I we said did. I agree with you because I think that these ones are way better. Yeah, but I never thought I'd say that. Like, I still am like, I like both of them, but I like the original ones better. But literally, when you compare both of them, when you have both of them in your hand and you're looking at them, you instantly fall in love with the newer one. Yep. So I have no issue with them, you know, not using the molded heads for those. And like I was saying yesterday, uh, yesterday well, I think it was yesterday or whatever we talked about it. Um, I was saying that, like, people, when the molded heads were out, people were complaining about them. Yeah. Now there's no molded heads, and people are complaining about them. Yep. <laughs> in this case, I feel like there's no way to make people happy in this case. I think the way that they've done it will bother the least amount of people. Yeah. Because if they kept it with molded heads, you'd still have all the... Like, all the kids nowadays who will want Toy Story sets are going to be like, oh, these look weird. Yeah. But, like, the only people who are going to be upset are the people who had the old ones and were like... And those ones were better. So yeah. it's really, it's basically a nostalgia thing. I think if they had come up with the non molded heads first, no one would have cared. Yeah, that, you're right about that. Here's the thing, though. This is my issue with the Toy Story 4 sets. So this is my only issue. Other than I think they look decent, so I don't mind. I wish they would have just not kept them in 4 plus mode. I yep. understand what they're doing, but they didn't have to. I mean, people are going to buy them regardless if they're 4 plus mode or not, you know? I think they could have kept like the smaller one, the four plus. Like they could have done it like they're doing, uh, like Jurassic World, for example, last year, where they had a couple junior sets and a couple non junior sets. Yeah, I think like that would have worked fine. And, and that's what they should have done. And they don't seem to grasp that concept that people like, even the incredible sets. Like I, I, think, I, actually... I think they've decided that Pixar is for kids and kids only. Yeah, nobody's gonna want them if they're not a kid which is untrue yeah they don't understand like the older fans they want them also yeah. you know i was hoping that they redid i doubt this is gonna happen but i was hoping they redid all the toy story sets and re-released them all you know i i was not i could never see that happening yeah especially, i don't especially like stuff like the trash compactor set and the garbage truck that are so toy story three specific yeah like and they're not even, like, super iconic scenes. Like, especially the garbage truck is not an iconic thing at all. Yeah. That didn't need remaking. I think the ones that could have used a remake are RC, which did get a remake. The Pizza Planet truck could have used a remake. Um, maybe the Buzz Lightyear spaceship set. Possibly. Um... Yeah, that's, that's about it. Yeah. True, true, true. Um, I Like you were saying, I just can't wait till they reveal the rest of the sets. Because even though like a lot of people don't like those sets, I like them. I actually do like all of them. And, you know, if it's not for the build, the builds are semi-decent. I feel like the biggest set, uh, 
I love the builds, right? Yeah, the I sets, like the, build, the big one a lot. Yeah, the other sets of builds are okay. I mean, but you don't really buy these sets for the builds. You buy for the mini figs. Except for the twenty dollars set that, that only has Buzz and Alien again. I still don't even buy that one. That, like that a, one, I don't mind the build on that one, so I might get it. But that's the one I'm least likely to like. If I was gonna skip any of the ones that have revealed so far, it'll be definitely that one. I like it because it's like a simple like twenty dollar roller coaster. That's what yeah. I like. Or twenty five of that. I don't know the exact price. Yeah, but it, but it's, it's like yeah. So it's like a basic twenty dollar roller coaster. You get a little like. You know, ro a roller coaster ride, and I guess people like it. I like it. It's cool. Actually, here I'll plop up the images so people in the chat can uh, see what we're talking about real quick. Screen share. Uh, Toy Story Four. Screen share. Share. Look at that. Here we go. Here are the pictures. This is what we're talking about. It's a roller coaster. Yeah, you know, like it gives you the opportunity to obtain those purple track pieces. Yeah, relatively cheap. Yeah, and for twenty dollars you get a roller coaster ride. You really don't get the stuff like that anymore. Yeah, I, I think I wish there was like something in the middle just to fill in this, like some random theming element or something that you find it like in amusement park. You'd have like something in the center that you'd be riding in a circle around. But you know the thing is, a lot of these sets, like I was comparing it to like the things that they compared it to. Some of these rides are really accurate. You know? Yeah. Like this one. Yeah, like, the little purple the thing. Trailer. Yeah. Also, the this the the bunny figure and the ducky figure; those are pretty well done. I agree. I like Bo Peep too. Yeah, Bo Peep's good. It is kind of a shame that we never got a Bo Peep with the molded head like the old style. But again, I do like this style better. Yeah, Bo Peep. Also, looks good. one other thing that's a minor um, disappointment is the fact that Buzz doesn't have arm printing here. But that does keep the Disney CMF version more exclusive. So I don't know. Mixed feelings there. Yeah. Uh, I, the, the one thing I'm very disappointed by, uh, mm -hmm. just because the Disney CMF version was so much better, was the where they had the printing for the boots around the alien. Yeah. I really, really like that. But I, again, that leaves that one more exclusive. So I understand why. I just wish that. I can't wait for Disney Series 2. I'm pumped, you know? Disney Series 1 is my favorite CMF series, so I am also very pumped. I think that, okay, so let's see. Uh, yeah, you know, I can't say it's my favorite, but I say it's in my top three. What are your other uh, favorites? So I like Series 10. Maybe uh, series like 10 Mr. Was Gold, awful, but I didn't have Mr. Gold, so. Yeah, so, you know. Um, and then I also liked uh, the DFB series. I like the DFB series, but it's not a standout at all. I don't know. It's just... Again, I love... It's, sorry. It's cool and kind of different and special, but I, it's not like... It's not great. I love that. I love this set. The one that has, like, it has racks. And the, the RV actually looks good. For a junior's RV, or like a 4-plus one, they did a really good job. Now they should be able to see it. I accidentally had you presenting for some reason. I think. <laughs> so <laughs> they have the they have the RV. If you look at the RV, the RV looks great. You know, the the house build is basic, but it also looks great. It has Forky in there. Love Forky. Love how you. I'll finally be able to get Rex because I didn't have Rex before. I, I have several some. Rexes. I have an like. I have a. Um... I have an extra part of a Pizza Planet truck, so I even have a random, brand new, like, I have three copies of Rex who came in two sets, basically. Dang, son. Yeah, I also have an extra ham, who's, ham's actually kind of expensive, and I, I wonder if they're going to put ham in one of the sets that hasn't been revealed yet. You know what I wish they'd put, but I know they can't do this for licensing reasons, yeah. I guess. Slinky or Mr. Yep. Potato Head. Yep, yeah, but they can't do it for licensing reasons. What sucks. I know. Why? Why can they not see this? You can see this, right? Yeah. What? They can't see it apparently. Uh. I wonder if they were saying that before. No, no. They, they said they still can't see it, and like, uh, they see it now. I like. I have the stream pulled up, and I still can't see it. I don't know why. What is wrong with my computer? Technology sucks. What if we move this over here? Can you see it now? 
Why? Do you have your uh, computer pulled up? Uh, I don't have the Are chat you... pulled up. No, I don't. Uh, I, have you um like are have you joined the stream on a computer? Yeah. Could you just screen share the um the Toy Story four sets? Yeah, we'll let's see if it. Yeah, let's see if it does anything. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah. Uh, gotta close out my weird search history. Uh, okay. Close out that. Don't want anybody to see that. <laughs> I don't understand what. Every, uh, my computer's so weird. So are mine. So is mine. Let's see if anybody can see. Well, don't we have this? I think we. You said we have the same computer. I think. Pretty much. Yeah. Is yours Windows Ten? Yeah. Yeah. I, I've. I don't know. I've had weird driver issues. And we both have uh, the HP Pavilion. Yeah. And I had to like. What kind of graphics do you have? Do you have like? Do you have the Nvidia control panel on your computer? Like, if you were to search that. I have no idea. I'm too stupid to even know what that is. <laughs> okay, so you probably haven't done any messing with uh, with drivers and audio. I I look at I use this to watch videos and. Have you have you ever all. had a problem where after watching a video for a large period of time the sync will be off between the video and the audio? Some t rarely. Oh, I have that a lot, oh, and I tried weird. to fix it. So I reinstalled my audio drivers, and now it's all screwy. Okay, let's see if they can see this now. I'll screen share. Let's see if this works. Uh, screen share. Me. Open this up. All right. And now, the question is, will people in the live stream see it? Hey, they can see it. Oh, okay. they can? Okay. Yeah, I don't understand why my computer is just dumb, but... So, we're taking a look at the... Everyone real quick, and now we're good. So... This set, right? So yeah. the the thing that I like about it, right? It has the the RV looks cool. It, it looks agree. okay. It looks it does look junior Z, and you know it's better when a build doesn't look junior Z. But I don't hate it. I feel like right for junior what the uh, shoot I want to keep this for a junior set. It's good, but not for a regular set, and that's my problem. And I did point that out in the thoughts video I did on your channel, which everyone should go watch if they haven't seen it. You did a good job, man. The video is doing well, so I'm happy. How was it doing? I think it's at like 700 views. That's good. Yeah. You know, and I guess people really liked your opinion compared to mine, so <laughs> you might have a job in the future covering okay. it for me. Anytime. I have all the Toy Story information and thoughts. If they reveal the other sets, I'll probably have you do that video, too, and I'll pay you to do that. Too. All right. I'm down for it. Anytime. Yeah, because you know a lot, and you're more informative. Of those topics. And you know the okay. funny thing is, if I didn't stutter or if I knew what I was saying 95% of the time, I could get my news videos out so much faster. But, like, so, example, when the infinity, uh, infinity, see, I can't even speak. See, I'm, con I'm creating words right now. When the infinity, yeah, yeah, yeah. with the end game, see, I'm not even doing this right. When the end game set images got revealed, right? It took me yeah. an hour after just you get an action flash uploaded them. Like, I saw them before that, right? But I wasn't yeah. sure if we could post them. And it took me an hour afterwards to get it up just because I kept stuttering the whole time or saying the wrong thing, you know? So it's like I got it, the, my video up an hour later. I mean, I'm glad my video is still doing well. I think that one's also yeah. at like 700 views. But it's like I guess people care about my opinion, surprisingly. Also, I was very disappointed you didn't put a close-up picture of Forky in the uh, in the video. <laughs> no, I was too lazy. But you know the funny thing is that you were saying this too. Immediately as you did the thoughts video, the official image just got revealed. Yep. Yeah. That was uh, funny as a actually. little unfortunate, but you know. It was still cool. People still yeah. like the video, you know, yeah. so that's the thing that I'm happy about. Also, I think AWM in the chat here just said that he needs this set for Forky and Rex. Yeah, it's totally worth it for that. What is the set price at? 30? Uh, yeah, 35, actually. It, it's worth it for thirty five. I've no I think, complaints. I, I think the fifty dollar one is more worth it, but yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, it, I, and I like the house in this one. It's not bad. Yeah, I feel like they did really good. They got the the outside of the house. You don't have to worry about yeah. the the interior. You know, there's no interior, 
and it still kind of gets the point across. If you're just looking at it, you know, it's, it's a house. You know what it is, right? Yeah, it's like it makes a decent background at the very least. Yeah, yeah perfect. Yeah. Yeah, that's like if you were to put that at the very back of the shelf, so it's like right up against the wall, it just looks like there's a house coming out of the wall. That is true. Yeah. So they, they got their point across pretty well, you know? Yeah. And Liam says what bugs him the most is that the builds are to scale with the minifigs and they should be larger because the minifigs are toys. Is that the same problem existed with the, the original Toy Story Zits, though? Like the Pizza Planet truck was built to a scale where Woody could drive it. <laughs> or where Buzz could drive it, which is not, I mean, I guess technically in the movie they do drive it, but not like by sitting at a seat with a steering wheel. You know, the thing is, those stuff have really never bothered me before. It, ne it never um, bothered me, really. Like, I'm just like, okay, it's a cool set. Yeah. It's great, you know. If you don't have the Pizza Planet truck, right? I don't, but I remember back in the day when I'd go to the store, I'd just look at it and I'd dream about owning it. Because, like, you know, you could pull back on the thing and the pizza would shoot out. I thought that was the coolest thing. You should buy it. Uh, uh, it it's the best yeah. Toy Story set. Maybe. Huh? It's probably expensive, though. Well, for me, it's not really the price because you see how you know, you yeah, know, stupid stuff I buy sometimes. It's, you know, no, it, it's a it is the best Toy Story set. No contest. Also, you can get Rex. Yeah, but I'm gonna like I'm gonna buy all these new sets that come out. I'm gonna buy all of them. You know, yeah. unless the next two ones that like, get revealed are garbage. You know, one of them should have. Well, one of them will have an exclusive figure. Uh, Kaboom Duke or whatever. That's what I'm excited about, you know? Did, did you notice, uh, have you, do you know what he looks like? Did you see that on the internet? Uh, I think they... He was on some merchandise and people uh, posted Isn't it. Isn't he like a cowboy? No, he's like, uh, he's like a stunt driver, I think. Oh, okay. Then I don't think I saw him. Uh, he was in Incredibles 2. Wait, what? Yeah, he was in Incredibles 2. Every Pixar movie they do, there's something in the movie that uh, like there's some the next movie that's going to be coming out from pixar there's something in the movie that will tease it so for toy story 4 i think it'll tease what i don't even know what comes out from pixar next onward maybe in 2020 but um so in incredible so for example in coco uh there was a teaser for the incredibles too there was like a little uh or no i have everything mixed up what was right before Incredibles 2? Was it Cars 3? Yeah, I think you're right. Yep. So in Cars 3, there was a teaser for The Incredibles, and you could like see it in the background, I think. Oh, see, I don't even pay attention to those. In, in Incredibles 2, in Jack-Jack's uh, little uh, crib thing, he has an action figure, which is Duke or Kaboom Duke, or whatever his name is. Oh, that's even cool. See, I didn't even realize, recognize it. Well, I didn't see Incredibles 2. I should watch it. It's on Netflix. It's not as good as the first one they like they ruined it at one particular spot how accurate are the sets though how accurate are the sets the house one is not accurate at all and it's garbage i don't recommend the uh the the 25 dollar one is like it's really downside like it's really scaled down and simplified but the stuff that's in there does actually happen and is you know, depicted in the movie. It's just not... It doesn't look much like in the movie just because it's oversimplified. But and, like, the cheapest set? Basic point across. and the cheapest set is the most... Uh, it's the, it's basically just a rooftop, which I don't know if you see that specific billboard in the background, but other than that, like, there are rooftops. There is no helicopter that the screensaver's in, and the screensaver figure is kind of inaccurate, but I can't go further without spoilers. Um, oh, okay. And, yeah. But, like, like from the outside, the screensaver looks accurate, but not um, the face that's underneath. Yeah, if I think that means you should start a podcast. I think they were right. I feel like we do really well on the I'm down to start a podcast. What? I'm down to start a podcast. Yeah, I think we should. I, okay. I'm totally... I, I feel like we do really well on there. Sure. But I feel like it shouldn't be like a weekly thing. I feel like it should be like a thing where we, you know, start a podcast like every time new sets are revealed or something, or like some like a big piece of information. You know what I'm saying? So it's not. Yeah, like... we could do it like we we could do it like average of once or twice a month or more often. If I yeah, I like the thought. Like maybe like twice a month, maybe or 
you know, if it's like a slow month, then we can just do it once. But like, yeah. you know, I feel like you know a lot of information, and then if there's like newer stuff, you know, you could talk about it for hours. You know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I think that's a great idea. Because right now, this is basically a podcast. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, the the podcast. It is called Brick by Brick Live, only because that's what I titled the stream. <laughs> <laughs> so what are people saying in the chat? Um, Sacred Bricks is saying he's back. And Brick by Builder says the $20 one is the best of the bunch. Uh, AWM says Incredibles 2 is a lot better than the first because he hates The Incredibles 1, which it's... Uh, it, the Incredibles 1 is... It's not called The Incredibles 1, it's called The Incredibles. But it, it The Incredibles is a really good movie, I think. And it was until Into the Spider-Verse came out, the best animated superhero movie. Also, uh, I guess we can go back over our thoughts on this one really quickly. Should I go to, which one should I go to next? Um, the, I don't know. Pick one. Your choice. It's up to you. Uh, well, let's just go from largest to smallest. Okay, so then we'll go back to this one again. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to this one. This one, you know, we, we already talked about it briefly, but you didn't see it. Uh, the bunny and duck figure. I think it really well done. Yeah, I can agree with that. Here's the thing. I remember when I originally did the thoughts video on this one, right? I didn't realize that Ducky was there. He <laughs> because, he, he, because he was like hiding, you know? I, I think I mentioned it in the thoughts video, I hope, right? Or was I? Like, I, think, I think, yeah, yeah, you did, yeah. yeah. All right. But it's like, you know, it's very, it's very small. He, he was hard to see in the, Forky was nearly impossible to see in the, in the image that you put in. Uh, yeah. But there was another image and you just didn't, you didn't edit that in because you were lazy. I was lazy. <laughs> I was like, you know, I need to be the first one out. And I mean, I guess things we, I think we were the first one out. Uh, yeah. Also like an hour later, Jesse could post his HD images of it. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Here's the thing. Now, Just Too Good has an advantage now because now Lego is sending him the press release images. So yeah. that's it's going to be really difficult to beat him now. Also, like the ice cream cone. New parts in that one. Oh, that's a new part? I feel like that's well, Lego Movie. They're, they're the ones from Lego Movie 2, but they're brand new and they're unprinted here. Okay, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Yeah, that seems yeah. like a reuse part. I feel like this set really embodies a lot. You literally, you know, you have three decent builds. You have two little, like, bumper cars or whatever they are, yeah. or go-karts. Um, and I feel like this one does a really good job because you have a little, like, ice cream shop or a little parlor right there. You have a little throwing game or shooting game. Um, yeah. So that kind of adds a play aspect to it. And you've got the cannon that you can shoot everything over with. Yeah, see, but yeah, so that adds that play aspect to it. And then you have the little spinny ride, and the little go-karts. This is a really stunning set. Even you, I, you do get, the, like, the three main characters. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that is true. But also, like, it's a really stunning set, you know? It's like, I think they're saying it's 50 now. I mean, the price has been yeah. mentioned so many different times. First is this price, and it's this price. When Disney did a press release on it, like, on... Uh, I think they revealed it on Good Morning America or something, but whenever, like, they revealed a little bit of Toy Story merchandise, and this was with them, and they said it was 40, but Lego said it was 50. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense then. So I guess we'll say it's 50. Even for 50, it's and, worth even, it. And also, even at 50, it'll be discounted to $40 pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I realized, though? I don't know how well the Incredibles set sold, but I was able to get the cheapest one for, like, 30% off? And that's I, I think they sold pretty badly. The, the lowest one went to like 15 bucks several times. Yeah. Which is like $10 off. The Cars 3 sets also seem to have sold poorly. I feel like anything Cars, for some reason, never sells that well when it comes to Lego. I don't know. I mean, they, they got discounted a lot, and I did buy them all, but not until they were discounted. Oh, you Except, bought them all? Nice. Yeah. I, I buy all the Junior's Pixar stuff for some reason. So you even have that little Mack truck then? Yeah. The Mack truck's garbage compared to the old one. Yeah, I, I looked at both of them. I was comparing them like, yeah, this one looks like a piece of, you know. Yeah, but the Jackson Storm build in that one was really, really good. Yeah. I feel like Lego should have just went to the original designs, what they were doing before. I'm kind of sick of the 4-plus aspect of it. I understand they're trying yeah. to appease a younger audience. 
But it's not really the younger audience that's buying them. Like, I know the parents are buying it for them. But, like, it's us, like, fans of, like, Disney and Pixar that are buying these sets and spending more money on them, you know? Yeah. Who the heck is that? It's you, obviously, if you're calling yourself. Subba Rababa Ada? Who is that? It's, it's you, obviously. Somebody sent me a, a friend request. It's you from the future. You traveled back in time from under your washing machine. Who's this person? This friend is this person is friends with Eric and my other friend. Who is this? Is this Lego Pony? I don't know. That can't be. That's a guy in drag. That ain't no woman. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna ask Eric who is this. Or exactly. somebody that's in the Lego community stalking me. Oh, also, am I the only one who's bothered by the fact that Beefhab doesn't have a screen maximized? Oh, do I not have a? Oh, I don't. You're right here. Uh, the thing that I love about this is the touch screen aspect. Oh, can I not zoom into this anymore? No, you, you gotta. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I don't know if that changed anything or if that made it worse. No, that's that's better. <laughs> I'm going to say, who's this? I have no idea who it is. I wonder if Eric is a person that just accepts anybody's friend request. This person has a really weird name, and I would have known the person. But I feel like, you know. <laughs> uh... Sorry, it just bothers me. I don't know who the person is. So I don't know who it is either. And when you find my Facebook and I don't know who you are, it's kind of kind of strange. And then you see your mutual friends with two people in the Lego community. You're like, well, this person must be from the Lego community, but I don't know who you are. So, Or maybe he just hunted down all your friends and decided to friend request them first. Oh, it looks like a female, but it doesn't look like a female. <laughs> okay. That looks like a dude. I'm telling you, that's a dude. Everyone's talking about uh, the Far From Home sets. <laughs> uh, far From Home? Yeah. Uh, those haven't been revealed yet, though. I mean, oh, they're, not... they're, talking about, they're talking about, like, the leaked figures. Okay. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're pretty cool. I love the stealth Spider-Man. Yes, that one's the best one. Nick so for the next Toy Story set? Or... Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Let's see. See, I love this because it has a touch screen. It's not like the tablet that breaks in oh, half. We've already done we already did this one. Already, this so one we kind of covered, but let's cover yeah, it again. But, uh, it's, it's, you know, it is what it is. Got a pizza. Pizza's cool. Uh, the caterpillar face is a nice print. And the little sign, the, you know, archway belt is fine. Actually, I don't know if that piece is new and green, like the, the arch piece, the angled thing. Oh, the, the one with the print of the creepy caterpillar? No, no, the the piece underneath it, the angled green thing. Oh, no, that's not new. That's uh, the, It appeared yeah. in a Unikitty like, set in the little roller coaster. In that color? Yeah. No, not... Uh, let's see. In that color? Um, I don't know if it appeared in that color, but the mold had appeared before. The mold's appeared since, like, the 90s. The, really? It's that old? Yeah. They oh. haven't used it at time. Like, it's an uncommon piece, but I, I looked it up for some reason, and it was... It's been around for a while. Weird. Which Unikitty set was in it? Oh my god, so, you know what Eric just texted me? Yeah. He said he believes it's a catfish, just block them immediately. So why did why did he accept a friend request? <laughs> Maybe uh, Eric's a catfisher and he, you know... Has I think a it's pony a little pony, catfish. to be honest. But, that's just my guess. Because, like, he, this person friended all of us uh, in the LEGO community. So this person knows that we all... Um, hey, he hasn't friended me. I don't <laughs> use Facebook. Oh, well, yeah. I have a Facebook account. Just never touch it. Yeah, I tried to find your Facebook. I couldn't find it. I'm trying to stalk uh, you. You, you can find me very easily. Okay, you can accept my friend request when I send you one? Sure. I don't really use it, but I'll, I'll go and specifically accept your friend request just for you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Let's see. I know your first and last name. Do you at least have a profile pic on there? No, nope, no profile picture. I yeah, tell you. Let's see. I'm probably the only one. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, you're from the Massachusetts area, sir? Yeah, I am. Uh, and I just added you. Uh, there, there's another one from Bay City, Michigan. There's oh, yeah. A named, there's a guy named uh, with my name, but with an I instead of an E. There's there's two of them, actually. Three of them. Wow. There, now I'm... I, oh, okay, I found you. There yeah. you go. Woohoo! <laughs> now you know you're my real friend once you accept my Facebook friend request. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Jeff, you're like, I'm too cool for Facebook. Uh, uh, Adobeum thinks this is the best roller coaster that they've ever done. Which I don't know if I agree with, but. <laughs> Lego Pony says, don't talk trash for me about me, brat from another brick, and don't call me by my old names. Eh, okay, Lego Pony. Uh, Somebody hasn't seen the X Brick Coaster, says Blue Brick. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to, I think I'm going to buy this set. I mean, for 20, I have no reason to not. Yeah. You know? I'll buy it once it's on sale. And I'll buy the other ones first. But I feel it. like, I feel like Jeff, you're going to buy them all the first day. No, I'm not buying any of them the first day. You will. I'll convince you. Uh, I, you the only way you can convince me is by paying for them yourself. <laughs> Fair point. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll wait until they're on sale. I like this one. I feel like at a, for a ten dollar one, I'm really enjoying this one. Yeah. I know a lot of people don't like the downgraded RC, but um, for ten dollars, it's really good. Yeah, I consider it's half the price of the last one. Still, all printed pieces, which is good. I like the army men a lot. Yeah, like I know a few people were complaining and saying they wish they had printed army men, but what? this. Wait. Perfectly embodies the army yeah. men. I have logic. Um, the army men, and you know, in Toy Story, they don't have any printing on them. They're just molded to look like army men. And yes, they have some more minute details, but these ones are just molded to look like men, and they're called army men. Yeah, they shouldn't have printing. And I mean, in proportion to the other uh, Toy Story figs, I feel like they did a good job. I have no yeah. issue with how they look. Um, <laughs> I'm just, I can't wait to see the other sets. That's something that I'm kind of curious on why they didn't reveal the other two. Well, there must uh, be some spoiler or something. I'm, assu I'm assuming, if actually, if there is a spoiler, they'll probably release it later, like they did with the Florida 500 final race from Cars 3. So I wonder if both of them have spoilers and they'll release both of them in a smaller second wave. That must be what it is because, like, they, they revealed the Kaboom Duke figure. I believe that Kabakata is like an action figure, right? You were saying that or something? They It was on the side of some merchandise. They didn't release it as an action figure, I don't think. I don't remember, but we've seen it. I don't know if it was like officially revealed or leaked. Okay. Uh, and the other thing that one of the remaining two could be is a retailer exclusive, and that's why we haven't seen it. So it could be that one's a spoiler set for a later wave and one's a retail special. I'm so just disappointed. Like, Lego, if you're watching this for some reason, um, make sure that um, that you don't do this. Oh, no, shoot. Why did I just call the brick rookie? Oops. Sorry. Ooh. Oh, shoot. Sorry, bro. I, I actually called them. Sorry. Didn't mean to call you. I'm glad you didn't pick up. You would have seen my ugly face. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is why I don't like the new call feature on Instagram. It sucks. Yeah, I accidentally called um, Jim played the other day, I think. When he sent me a message, I was just trying to read his message and instead of called him. Because the worst part is that the button is in the same spot as what you have to click in order to get to the messages. Yeah, that is true. I enjoy picking my nose. How about you? Uh, sure, yeah, definitely. Favorite thing to do. <laughs> I just felt like saying that for fun. Okay. Well, I'm scratching my head I mentioned that.
Uh, and then uh, Brickboy Builder says, what's everyone's thoughts on the TMNT sets from 2013 to 14? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets? Yeah. Oh, I love them. Uh, I own, oh, let me rephrase it. My little brother owns all of them except one. He doesn't own the T Rocket, but he owns every other set, so. Hmm. And, like, you know, you get to look at them and, um, yeah. So I'm talking to Eric about the catfish. Let's see, yeah. Very. You guys like catfish? Does it taste good? I'm vegan, so I wouldn't know. That's fine. Are you friends with, um, what's it called? What's uh, that? Eric on, you know, Facebook? Uh, I told you I don't really use Facebook, so no. You can just friend him. He'll accept it. Okay. You know Eric's last name? Yeah, I do. Yeah, if you find him, he's in my mutual friend group, so you should just friend him. You and him are homies, so. Yeah, right. Oh, there we, there. Interesting. I searched it spelled correctly, and it gave me only people with an I instead of a Y. And then when I switched it to an I, it gave me all the ones with Ys. If you go through my Facebook, you can just yeah, look no, I, my I found phone. it, don't worry. Yeah. There you go. Rick says his wish list for sets that have been revealed are the Woody RC, Star Wars Pod Racer, War Machine Buster, Flintstones, and the Hidden Side Bus, and the Jurassic World sets. The Flintstones is good. I should probably get that, but you spelled it wrong. That's uh, sacred. Yeah, well, I mean, I built the Flintstone set when I got it, you know, and it's a great set, so. Would you recommend it? Heck yeah. You'll totally like it. Especially if you know the Flintstones or you've watched uh, the Flintstones. I know the Flintstones. Fred hangs on my Christmas tree every year, front and center. Only because, he's a really, only because he's a really old ratty ornament that my dad had when he was a kid, and my mom doesn't like it because it looks old and ratty. But we put it up anyway. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it at full price? Yeah, totally. For 16, it's like what? I forgot the piece count. 748. Yeah, 748 pieces. It's totally worth it. I'll still probably make for sale. Because I like money. Mm -hmm. How far are you on the diner? Uh, still like 150, 200 pieces left of bag three. How many pieces? <laughs> like, Sorry? What, what percentage of the, uh, of the, what you call it? What percentage of the what? What percentage of the bag? Uh, like, I got about. Uh, 20% of the bag done. 20%? Yeah, so about 80% of the bag left to do. Anybody else chatting about certain things they want us to talk about? Um, Let's see. Uh, Eric just sent me a Facebook message, so I responded. He did? What did he yeah. say? Uh, he said, hey, bro, how's it going? Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> um, he, called, he called you a bro. Yeah. Uh, 
and the Brickway Builder says he could save so much money if he got his Infinity War Thor rocket and Widow, he could buy multiple Iron Man polys and put the heads on. And San said neat first. Like, he came to his stream and said neat. That was it. Neat. Me. And he's going to the party was the general theme of tonight's topic. We were talking about Toy Story 4 sets for a while. Like, I feel like I can go hours talking about anything, you know? If I'm not as entertaining today, I'm really tired, so... Not, like, tired enough to sleep, but tired, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. K2R2 asks about Winter Village sets. Do you own any? I know you own the fire station. Is the I just own the fire station. You know, that was one of the builds that really stuck out to me. And when I was buying them, I'm like, you know, this is one that I need to get. You know, I've looked at the other ones in the past, and I like the train. I want to get the train. But other than that, none of them are, like, you know... Priority buys, but they all look great, yeah. you know. Yeah, um, I I have all of them since the original toy shop. I did not get the re-release toy shop, and I don't have like the really old train from before they started doing yearly sets. Yeah, but I have all the others. The train is good, right? I, it's yeah, it's it's good. I like the station a lot. Better than the train? Uh, yeah. Really? Oh, that's bad. I mean, the train must be bad then. Uh, the, the train's not bad. I just really like the way they built the tower. Fair point. <laughs> Feel free to ask some questions, y'all. I think that your goal, remember, Jeff, your goal for this year, once you uh, go back to working during the summer, you need to buy a modular building. Got it? I'll try. Find me you a good should. deal on a diner and I'll buy it. What happened? Find me a good deal on a diner and I'll buy it. Yeah. I mean, I feel like, yeah, it's a gr so far it looks like a good set. If you you are responsible for buying a Saturn V, though, because you need a Saturn V. I also yeah, I do need to buy the Saturn V so we can do that building stream. Yeah. I, I should be able to get my hands on one pretty easy. <laughs> uh, I need like 80 energy drinks right now. Um, let me look at the chat. I haven't been looking at the chat, so I'm going to look at the chat. The uh, chat. You uh, what's your favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set? Favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle set? Yeah. Uh, that's maybe the I, I, I like the older layer, the first layer that they released. Yeah, that's good. I feel like that's a really stellar um build. So. You know what I uh, noticed back when they did the... Uh, did I tell you about when they did the Barnes & Noble thing? They still had the movie version of the Lair available at Barnes & Noble at regular price. I feel like those just don't sell well, you know? Yeah, it, it just... It, it lasted forever. What's your favorite Speed Champion set? All of them. Do you have uh, any? I actually own two of them that I won from giveaways. Uh, so you've never bought one? Uh, yeah, I always got them for free. So. Okay. No, actually, that's a lie. I own three of them, and one of them I bought. I can't remember the vehicle I bought, but it's like I think it's a blue little car or something. A blue little car. Yeah. yeah. You know, those blue little cars. There's three. Did you buy the Bugatti? Uh, I didn't, no. The Ford or the Chevy Camaro race car? Or, oh, or the Ford Mustang GT, actually. You probably got that one. Beef, I heard you aren't fond, overly fond of Brick Vault. Would it be out of place to ask uh, why that is? I uh, mean, I gave them like two grand and they really were just, I don't know. That, that's my reason. I gave them like a, like almost two grand and donations and they just never seemed grateful enough. They also are not the most knowledgeable people out there. Like they're, they're not bad, but they've made a decent amount of mistakes on, I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even, it Sorry. seems like they're a little bit less well versed in Lego than people like Jang Bricks or Just Do Good. Yeah, they just don't seem to be as. For example, on one of the 
in one of the Iron Man collection videos, they used, like, Jack Sparrow's head instead of Tony Stark's and didn't notice. Well, I don't mind them making mistakes. I just don't but, like that, how they, like, reacted. Like, when I stopped giving them money, they stopped acknowledging me whatsoever. Uh, you know, and that's what I don't like. You know, it proves that they were fake people, you know? Yeah. Like, they were nice to me, and they'd acknowledge me all the time when I gave them money. But when I didn't give them any money, they wouldn't even act like I was there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, my, yes, that's I, why do. I don't affiliate myself with them anymore. It's not that I don't like them, but it's like, I don't really enjoy their content that much either. Like, I lo used to like the minifig collection review stuff, and I still kind of do. It's just like, it's it's not really something that I care as much for anymore. I think... The fact that they had them all, it was a good resource. Uh, but also, some of their collections were incomplete uh, for things that they just didn't notice. Uh, like, they, they didn't research them as thoroughly as they could have. So, like, there was... Also, they didn't update them as frequently as they should have. Like, for example, the the Batman one, they, like... There was, like, a long period in there where they just... It was missing a lot of Batman. You know, I dress with Batman all the time. Yep, all the time. B-Fab, can you sing? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's leaving. Uh, uh, Sen says he's not upset by that answer. He assumed it might have been something rather petty. Now, that's my only reason, you know. <laughs> Please don't sing, he says. Well, that was beautiful. <laughs> he just doesn't know what real music sounds like. <laughs> People just don't understand art these days. Like, it's you, a, you, you just have to sing the Batman song. What Batman song? The one from the Lego movie. Oh, Darkness. Black and Yellow? No, Darkness, No Parents. Oh, that. Oh, shoot, I can't remember that one. It goes Darkness, No Parents. <laughs> Is that all? Darkness. No, do, do you know what they actually... I was like, listening to the director's commentary. Do you know what they actually did when they recorded that song? What? They, like... I think they gave the darkness no parents, and they just had him, like... They, they had Will Arnett stand there in front of the microphone and just list things that are, like, black. Like, black... That's where he got um, black coffee in the basement. Uh, yeah, he, they just had him list a bunch of dark stuff and put it together to music that Mark Montesquieu wrote. Dang, Eric is moving to Pennsylvania in 20 days. Yeah, he told me that. He told you before he told me. <laughs> he, yeah, he told me that today. Did he just tell you that now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised. Like, I didn't know this. Like, you, I thought we were best friends, Eric. I don't, I'm not trying to sound like a jerk, but I don't know why Eric would give up that house. Like, Eric's house is like a mansion. Like... That house is beautiful, so. Like, I walked in Eric's house, and I'm like, this is, like, five times bigger than my house. And I'm like, compared to Eric, compared to, like, Eric's house, like, one of Eric's rooms is, like, the size of two of my bedrooms. You have two bedrooms? I have two of my bedrooms in my house. So you have two bedrooms in your house? I have three. No, you have two, and you just said you had two. I was saying if you combine, if you combine two of them together, it'd be like the size of one of Eric's rooms. So you knock down one of the walls in your house? To combine two bedrooms? <laughs> if you did, yeah, I was saying it'd be the size of one of Eric's bedrooms. I think you should knock down a wall and then test that. It's <laughs> a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. But he said two states over, and then I was like, I, was, I didn't realize that New York and Pennsylvania and Massachusetts all bordered. Then you and Eric can hang out more. What is it going to be like? What a three-hour drive? It, it, I, uh, it's like it depends on where in Pennsylvania, because Pennsylvania is a large state. Yeah, but it's like I have family in Pennsylvania as well. Like my family is pretty much all in Massachusetts or in Pennsylvania, and it's like a, it's like a four-hour drive to where they are in Pennsylvania. Oh, okay. Are you going to hang out with Eric? I don't know. I had to, I, if I ever go to Pennsylvania. You and Eric can party the night away. Do you own the Lego Vestas set? 
I do not. Oh, dang it. I totally forgot about it. I love this stuff, but I'm, it's not a priority buy for me. Well, you know? It's way too expensive for it to, for me to even consider it. I mean, I'll buy it. That's the thing. No, I know where to buy it. If it was $100, I'd buy it. I love wind turbines, but not $200 love wind turbines. 200 it's worth it for me at that price. But I there's one set that I need to get really soon before it retires, the Disney Castle. Saturn V will retire first, probably. Yeah, but like example, I like the Saturn V. Don't get me wrong, but the Disney Castle's way cooler. They're gonna keep making Disney Castles until Disney Series Two comes out at the very least. Will they? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yep, one hundred percent. Would you bet your life on it? Yeah, I'll bet my life on it. <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, one hundred percent. Disney Castle is great, though. The first over two hundred dollars that I bought, probably the first over one hundred twenty. I don't know if I bought it at Temple Bridges first. I don't remember. Also, oh, Sands is voting for you to tear down the wall. I think you should replace the wall with shelves. What about Santa? Yes. Oh, tear down the wall. Oh, you said Sands. I thought you said Santa. Oh. <laughs> Santa said to take down the cows. Oh, 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 oh take down the wall. <laughs> take down the wall. Oh, oh, oh. Santa can't get your Christmas tree from the chimney, so he wants you to tear down the wall to make it easier for him. <laughs> oh. You're too thin. Are you getting all the endgame sets? Yes or no? I, I can't say yes. I'll get I'll get most of them. Not all of them. Also, Sans says Sans equals Santa confirmed. See, this is what happens when I'm when I'm tired. I sound really weird and I say stupid things. So. Santa's not stupid. No, I say stupid things. Yeah, but you said Santa. Santa's not a stupid thing. You're right. Santa's real and he's cool. Yeah. I saw him down my chimney yesterday. I thought something was happening because I don't own no chimney or Wait. no fireplace. Serious question, me, Feb. This yeah. is probably the most serious question you'll ever be asked. Does Santa pay his elves or are they slaves? They're slaves. So, so here's the deal. You want to believe Santa's a good person, right? Yeah. So, if he owns slaves, he's not a good person, correct? Yeah. So, I've figured out how Santa pays his elves. Because obviously, there's no way you make money by just giving away a bunch of toys. Yeah. But what you do get is a lot of Christmas cookies. You know what you can find on eBay? Homemade cookies. Santa collects all the Christmas cookies, brings them back to North Pole, and then he sells them on eBay. And that's how he makes enough money to pay his elves. Yeah. Yeah. Great theory. No, it, it's not a theory. It's a fact. Great fact. Yeah. Also, Sam says, are you sure it's only when you're tired? Am I what? Are you sure that it's only when you're tired? Oh, you're saying are you stupid or only stupid when you're tired? Uh, I don't know. It's a good question, Sans. <laughs> Defab's always tired. Recently, I have been a lot, yeah. Oh, the Jawa Lord brings up a good point. He says, I don't think that's true. How would he have access to eBay? The internet connection must be garbage. This is Garbo, but garbage. Uh, hmm. That's very... I mean, to be fair, you don't know that. Maybe he has a... Maybe he has set up internet towers in the North Pole. Where's the proof, though? You haven't seen the towers. Uh, you don't have any proof that he doesn't have them. I don't. You're right. So, Conspiracy. yeah. Conspiracy. You gotta... We need more information in order to determine whether or not the theory is true. That's why it's only a theory. Yeah, but have you ever seen Santa before? Have you ever seen Santa before? I haven't. So he's probably not real then. <laughs> uh, any other like Lego topics people want us to cover? 
I'm going to go to the topic and we'll, we'll go super in-depth. Uh, Stan says he's seen Santa in every mall in December. <laughs> well, I guess there's an army of them. I guess I guess that Santa, there's not only one Santa. I guess there's a bunch of them. There's a secret society of Santas. It's a cult, a Santa cult. And they all live up at the North Pole. And in, uh, in December, they, they, you know, they're sent out to all the malls. You're um, right. Jawa Lords has Star Wars April Wave. Do you want to pull those up on Brickset and then can look them real quick? Okay, uh, let's see. Star Wars. Also, Tracy Arthur says, have you heard of the Playmobil Bill movie? Yes, I have. The trailer looks awful. It, you, wait, you, you said awful or awesome? Awful. I thought it looked actually really good, to be honest. <laughs> and that's, is that a serious statement? Yeah, that's serious. <laughs> Okay. These kids, they get trapped in this world and they get turned into Playmobil characters. I enjoy the Playmobil movie, be fat, but I will not be watching it. I... Wait, Darth Vader's castle is considered a 2019 set? That's not true. It is, technically, because it was... I think it was supposed to be a 2019 set, but they released it early. Oh, I'm still... Am I still screen sharing right now? You're not screen sharing, no. Uh, so, that would be helpful. Yeah, that uh, would be... So are we just looking at starting from the slave this set, or are we looking at starting here? Uh, we we're just gonna look at the. the we'll skip Vader's castle. Let's all this. Okay. All right. Slave one. What are your thoughts? Uh, so I like it. I feel like, um, compared to the the UCS one or whatever the Ultimate Collector Series one, yeah. I feel like it's okay like i feel like if you don't have the space to get the ucs one and let's say both of them were out at the same time which we obviously know that the ucs one is discontinued um i'm gonna i won't gonna totally be picking this set up because i've always wanted a slave one but i feel like the one in the cloud city is way too small for me to care about that one but then this one's just perfect sizing and then it has like zakas or Zacchaeus. whatever Zacchaeus yeah. is cool exclusive and i want that figure when i'm not buying this set yeah but I don't. Let's see the prices. Do you know the prices? One hundred twenty dollars, or maybe it was one hundred thirty. It's one of the two. Yeah, I feel like it's fine. I'll buy it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The Zuckus figure is the big draw. I think it's okay, but the UCS one was way better, obviously. And I feel like this following the UCS one so closely. I wish it was a Django slave one because we haven't gotten that in ages. Yeah, Brick Bowler Builder agrees with you. I know a lot of people were saying that they wanted a Django one. And, like, yeah, we've got a lot of the Bubba ones. Bubba, Boba. I can't even say Boba. Yeah. Boba Fat. We've got way too many of, you know, his ship or whatever. So I would have loved some variation, but it's fine for me because I don't own it. So I'm going to pick it up. But I know a lot of people who have, like, two or three of these sets, they don't want more of them. You know? Yeah, no. He's still alive. Oh, uh, let's see. Is Brick by Brick still here? Oh, muting for a second. Well, you kind of said that before you uh, muted yourself, sir. So then we have the, the hand solo in Carbonite. It looks like they're using the same mold that they've been using before. Um, I wish they would have updated the mold. Because here's the thing. they The hair, if you look at the, the carbonite chamber, the hair doesn't match the mold of the new Han Solo. So, that's kind of the the thing. Which I wish they would have updated. But they're using the same old mold that they used before. Uh, the Jawa Lord just wants Zuckus to be honest. Makes sense. And let's get on to the next one. Also, I love the little yellow Leia. You know, it's cool to always get those 20th anniversary minifigs. So then we have the ATAP. So we have we have Commander Gree in the set. We have a couple of those. Uh, what troopers are they called? Let's see what they're called. Um. They're not called clone troopers. I forgot their exact name. But I remember the set back in the day. Or they had a set similar to this. I believe it was in 2008. Um, 
I like it. It's cool. It's a little walker. I mean, am I going to pick it up? I doubt it. Unless I can find this set on clearance. It's nothing that really... Um, oh, the ATAP was released in January. January this year? Wait, this set was already released? <laughs> this is how you know I haven't been to a store. Well. But yeah, I mean, if this set ever goes on clearance for like 40 to off or okay so 2014 okay if this set ever goes for like 40 percent off i'll totally buy it okay i guess i just haven't been to any stores recently if it already got released so i have returned to be fab what did your roommate show up uh, uh, no, classes were just canceled and everyone was yelling <laughs> there's no class until 6 p.m tomorrow uh, oh you must be happy yeah i mean okay sure yeah no you like schoolwork never mind yeah. But yeah, that that set was already released, BFEB. See, I didn't know that. The thing is, I don't I don't go out a lot. Well, even though if it, if it doesn't have one of the if it doesn't have one of the special figures, then it's not a uh, then it's a previously released set. Oh, I think if it doesn't okay. have one of the original figs. I guess to the next one then. Uh, yeah. The action battle echo defense. I don't know what I don't know how to feel about these. I need to see them in action because they're action sets. So, have you seen the back of the box artwork? Possibly. So, like you know. hit them or whatever, and they like. Yeah, they well, I know I know how it works. Yeah, but I need to like see it physically working. I need to see someone doing it like on video. It seems like a cool concept. You know, it's not that it's yeah. a, you know something that I would be personally interested in buying. Like, I'll buy one of them because they're also, all basically yeah. the same thing. The ad ad at this scale looks good. Oh, with the obviously, if you were to just remove the fancy action things, you know. Yeah. Wait, why were classes canceled for you? That's snow, I think. Oh. Okay. You know, all I know is I got a text message saying that classes were canceled, and everyone started what? cheering. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. Yeah. But yeah, like, how, how much is this set, Action Battle, Echo Base? I think it's like 30? It's No way it's 30. I think it's 30. If it's 30, that's a fantastic deal. I would have guessed like 50 or something. It's based on the number of figures. Anyone in the chat know? Wait, the but I, I think the concept's cool, but I feel like for these little, like, uh, these new little sets where you shoot the little missile at the the target yeah there's a little play function to it i feel like it's cool to have one of them like you buy like i hope it's guys. very easy to remove the uh like i hope that the only things that are making it actiony are the like the the big red and blue things i hope you can remove those and it'll still look good but so I, how much do you think this one is brick by brick i just fit oh it's 60 according to java lord in the chat Oh dang! Uh, unless Sacred Bricks is right, and it's eight thousand dollars. I think eight thousand dollars is fair. How about you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know it was that much. I thought it was like well, thirty. No, that's cheap, isn't it? I was expecting like twenty thousand. So okay, so I guess that's sixty. Yeah. You know, I don't know if I'll pick up this one specifically, but I at least want to pick up one of them. But if I do like the the functions to it so it's kind of like the chima yeah. things like when they had well not exactly but like when chima had all those play features like about one speeder not because i was really interested in it but i want to see how the playability works right bought it liked it bought now most of them so it's kind of like the same thing if i buy but i enjoy up i'll buy more if i buy one and i don't like them i won't buy more you know yeah so that's kind of my whole feel on this whole thing and it's a better battle of hoth than the <laughs> the Lego set that we got, that big play set or whatever. Yeah. Next okay. we have Major Von Reg Tie Fighter. This one's overpriced, but I like it a lot. Yeah. I don't know the price. It's like ninety or hundred or it's seventy, I think. Oh. See, I didn't but even it's know like five hundred pieces, so it's like I don't know. I like, I can see sixty, fifty would be perfect. And at 50, I'd probably pick it up, but uh, I think it's a little bit too pricey for me. I have no complaints on this set. I love it because it's like, so we've been getting TIE Fighters for years. Yeah. They're always just black and gray. This one is red and black. And I just like, like it. It looks, the it, color. It's very striking. Yeah. 
Uh, the the Major Von Rig figure, the red guy, he looks really, really good. Um, Agreed. The Kaz figure looks nice. I like the hair. I was expecting them to use that for Hawkeye in the endgame sets because his haircut's going to kind of look like that and they could print like the bottom and like a tan and the top could be uh, brown. But yeah. They didn't. You know, I was complaining about that in my, uh, not about what hair they should. Well, I was saying how the hair was bad. For Hawkeye or Ronin or whatever you call him. They've needed a new hairpiece for him forever. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Like, literally. Like, that's a hairstyle that a lot of characters share, and they just never get it right. Like, Grindelwald needed the same kind of hairpiece as Hawkeye, almost. They just, Lego is, at this point, too lazy. Like, you know what they need? They need a piece like Zane's from the Ninjago movie, but it covers the whole back of the head, and it, it's curved around the back and just spiky in the floor. Yeah. And th there's a lot of characters that could use that hairpiece, but they've never made it. I just feel like the like example when we're looking at like Hawkeye or Ronan or whatever, the hair piece is never accurate. They never get the face or the hair piece accurate. You know what? The face is sometimes accurate for Hawkeye, uh, but no. you know what they? You know what's almost perfect for Hawkeye? Yeah, the spy from series sixteen. His hair piece, if it didn't have the things on the side, it would be pretty much perfect. Yeah, that would be okay. That would be a better hair piece to use. I could agree with that. Uh, and I wouldn't expect them to use it just because of the things on the sides. Unless they were to introduce like a goggle piece that went over it to replicate Hawkeye's goggles, but that would still look too big. So I don't know, it just wouldn't work. I feel like Lego, though. I mean, they've still done it before, but I feel like Lego doesn't like to use minifig pieces in other sets. I mean, they still do it every once in a while. But I mean, there, there are some pieces that were introduced for the CMF line that are used everywhere now. Yeah, but I mean, like... like wasn't the... I forget if the spider... Man pieces came first, or if it was first used for the Ice Queen and the CMFs? Uh, the little, oh uh, shoot, Ice Queen, the little like ice pieces. Oh, I think that the, was... the things, the Spider Man pieces that I, that like basically have a bar hole, or, or like a stud, and then a bar on the back at a ninety degree angle. Um. Uh -huh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I keep yawning. Yawning. Uh, yeah, uh, the Leia figure's all right, and the droid looks good for what it is in comparison to the show, and it's interesting that they... It's an interesting build for it. Is this the first time we're getting an older Leia? Because that Leia looks older. Uh, we, it, it is an older Leia, but not... Like, the Resistance show takes place in between 7 and 8. Oh, okay. Uh, and... We did get an older Leia in the Resistance transport, um, the shuttle set or whatever, from the Force Awakens. It was like a second wave Force Awakens set. This is not the same though. It's it's close, but not the same. It has a new face that's slightly more in the, like it looks less wrinkly because it's designed to be less, um, less live action, more like the depiction in the show. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, on to the next one. That one is, I'm just going to say it right now, that one's probably my favorite of the upcoming wave, but I probably still won't buy it. Black Ace. This one's price is worse, I think, than the last one. High Interceptor. I still think it looks cool. I have no interest in this one. Like, it, it's it's not nearly as good as the last one, but this, the figure is, is cool with the skull. Like, that that is from the show directly. Uh, we haven't seen him without his helmet in the show, but, you know, he does have the hair, so, you know, whatever. BB-8 yeah. is fine. He's the same old BB-8. And Poe is a new design, but, you know, it's okay. Just the aesthetic of this build. Yeah. For me, it's in no way intriguing, and I don't really have any interest in buying it. It looks like a V-Wing with, uh, with a cockpit of a TIE fighter, which is just kind of interesting. I don't know. I yeah. don't think it's an interesting design they could have picked for a ship from the show, though. They could have done, like, the... Like, I, you haven't watched the show at all, but there, there are a couple interesting looking ships. And this is not one of them. Yeah. Uh, anything else you want to say about this set? Uh, this one's like $50. It's too much. It should be like 30 and if, if it was 30 I think a lot more people would be excited about it. The droid gun chips, old, old, old news. Let's get that. See, I didn't even know these sets were out. That's how you know. Yeah, it's already out. out. Skip it. Uh, Snow Speeder is the next one. Okay, I've seen this set get a lot of flack. I mean, it's just a snowspeeder. There's nothing special about it. That's what's 
You know, that's what's that's what people don't like about it. Well, I think it's people fine. are saying that it looks way too much like the sand speeder. Basically, it's the white version of the sand speeder. Well, because that's the snow speeder is just a tan version of a the sand speeder is just a tan version of a snow speeder. So obviously, the snow speeder is going to be a white version of the sand speeder. Yeah. I don't have any issue with this set. It's supposed to be like what fifty? Uh, this one? Yeah. I think this is forty. Forty, fifty. It looks, uh, it looks like like a twenty-five dollar set to me. Well, the uh, the sand speeder was thirty, and I think that was fine. And this one also comes with Lando. I would give this thirty-five. So fifty is not completely unreasonable. Yeah. So it's like this one. I'm not gonna get. You know. Yeah. It's like it's cool I mean, to get the Lando figure. That's the thing that intrigues me. I think you know? that if you don't have a snow speeder already, then this is fine. Uh, but if you already have one, then that doesn't matter. Yeah, it is forty. I just looked it up. Oh, it's, it's forty. Have, okay. It does have only three hundred and nine pieces. I think if you could, it'll go down on sale to thirty-two at some point. I think at that price, it's reasonable. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. I mean, if you look at, let's say, if I would ignore the fact that it does look like a lot of the snow speeder belts that we already have, you know, obviously yeah. it's meant to. It doesn't look, it's not a bad belt, you know? Yeah. For 40, you know, you know, like, when Walmart puts it at 20% off, you know, I will, yeah. I would totally buy it at 20%. Off. The, the other thing about it is I don't see, like, I don't think there's a ton of room for improvement on snow speeders. Like, the design that they have is pretty much, it, it's pretty much the best you could get at this scale. I can't think of anything we could do to improve it. I agree. Yeah, radar dish looks nice. I feel like they did a pretty good job. You know, it's yeah. a really minute detail, and they managed to add a lot of you know. And yeah, it's nice to get you know something new if you already have a snow speeder and are buying this just for Lando. At least you now have. I mean, obviously snow speeders are massable, but at least you now have this little radar dish. It's something new to build. Yeah, for sure. Next, we have the Anakin's twentieth anniversary uh, pod racer. This one's kind of unique. We haven't gotten one in a while, right? Yeah, I feel like the last Pod Racer we got was like 2010? Uh, 2009? I'm going to yeah. look up Pod Racer tag on Brickset, and I'll tell you in 10 seconds. 2011. Okay, so 2011 was the last time we got a Pod Racer. So. And that one was, it came with Zuckus's. Or, not Zuckus. Uh, it's all of us. I know Star Wars. I like it. You know? Yeah. I think I would have picked the setup. Originally, I wasn't going to, you know, buy it, but it's like it's such a unique build, and it's yeah. quite relevant to what the first movie, I believe it was. Uh, yeah, well, it's not the first movie; it's the fourth movie, but Episode One. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm surprised I even know comparing that. it to the old one. It's actually like the back section, the um, the cockpit section is actually really similar to the last version. The front section looks way better on the new one, though, with the lightning pieces in pink, uh, trans pink. That's cool. And there's like the engines are more detailed, so I think this. I want to pick this set up in the sense that it's unique. I like I have no personal connection to it, so it doesn't mean anything to me in that sense. But it's like I'm I'm yeah. gonna pick it up. It's it's a cool set. Also, uh, mid legs on Padme. Yeah, that's cool. Also, I think her hairpiece might be new. I think it might be a new version of the previous. Um, that hair piece. Yeah, see, I've never seen that hairpiece before. They might have used it before. They might have not. I don't know. Also, I'm yeah, scratching my head. So don't one. worry, guys. If you guys can, you guys hear me scratching my head? No. Or no. I can't. Maybe maybe the chat's really good at hearing things. <laughs> uh, Blue Brick is saying it's the best set from the wave. Sacred Brick says it's dope. Uh, so yeah, they, they like it. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Next one. Uh, Clone Scout Walker. That one is thirty dollars. I like this one. It, it seems small for thirty dollars. So I know the set they remade it off of. It really like they did a co completely like you know different move. It really looks nothing like the set it's supposed to be. Well, it's it looks like what it's supposed to be in universe. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, Darth Vader is an anniversary figure. It's cool that they still have the old mold of helmet. Um. The Kashyyyk Troopers are always a cool figure. Uh, not new or anything, but... I think the Wookiee is new. I like this set. I feel like I'll pick it up if it's unclear. It's like, I would yeah. buy it for 15 bucks. Yeah, I mean... I, I, probably I would instantly buy it without batting an eye. 20 adds... Uh, I think I could bet for 22. 
And th this does look a lot like the design that they did for the Clone Wars when it was blue and the 501st ATRT. Um, which... Oh, I think I actually have that one. Was that the one that had Yoda in there? Yeah, yep. I have that one too. And that was a twenty dollars set. So I feel yeah. like I feel like the extra stuff here is worth the um, worth the extra ten dollars. Yeah, I feel like basically you're paying more just for those anniversary minifigs, to yeah. be honest. That's going to be a big complaint when we get to the, I think, the cheapest set on the list. But let's, we can move on to the next Which one. Which I have a personal connection to the cheapest set, so, you yeah. know. Action Battle Endor Assault. Uh, I like their, how they're making more Endor sets. I mean... I like, I like that scale of speeder bike a lot. You know what set I want after, you know, looking at images of that? The, the Endor... Although the, oh. the Ewok Village, I want that set. I want Ewok Village, but I missed it, and I'm not going to buy it at this one probably unless I get a job that pays me lots and lots of money. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, that's, a, that's one of those sets that in the future, when I have a large amount of disposable income, I may consider getting that at some point. Well, it's a beautiful looking set. Like every time I see like images of it, I'm like, I want that set. Like I'm not the biggest. I, I wanted it when it was out too, but like it was way out of my price range. Yeah. Uh, the new Scout Trooper helmet is really awesome too. Yeah, weren't people complaining about the helmet or whatever though? Uh, possibly. I don't know. Uh, someone in the chat earlier, I forget who it was, was saying that uh, we were talking about helmets very briefly. Uh, I don't know if you were here at that point, but uh, they they were like, "This one looks really cool." Uh, but they didn't like. Uh, it was uh, Brickspiration Studios, I think. We were talking about the X-wing helmets, and he said that uh, he's not a fan of that one or the Stormtrooper one, but he really likes the new Scout Trooper. So this set, what is this? The one that's going to thirty? I think it's thirty. Yeah, I'm not going to pay. If you close the large image, then you'll it'll show you. I think I'll just buy the Hoth one. Yeah, I'm be isn't happy there, with wait, that. Isn't there also the Shield Generator one? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think you're right. Did, yeah. Did we pass that already? Or is that even smaller? I don't think so. We passed it yet. No. Okay. Yeah. That's what I wouldn't buy for 30. Like, I'm going to buy one of these little shooting function games. I, I think it's not my favorite of the three action battle. So you're going to buy it? Uh, no. But this is my favorite of the three. Fair point. Uh, next, we have Duel on Starkiller Bays. This now, one, I remember. This one's very neat, I think, personally. So I guess it's accurate because people have been, you know, at least from what I've seen, people have been saying it's quite accurate. I remember when I first saw images of the set, right? Somebody posted it on Instagram, right? I thought it was a fake set. I think I already told you this because yeah, it yeah. looked like so, like a vignette. You know, it's like something yeah. that, you well, know. I think that's a cool direction for them to go. It's different. And that's what I like it because it's different. But that's the reason why I'd buy it. Like, it's 20 bucks from what I heard. Have you seen The Force Awakens? I haven't. Uh, so you wouldn't get it. They said it's accurate with the ground is splitting open or whatever. Yeah, it is. So for that reason, I'm going to pick this set up. 20 right. bucks, you know, it's unique. Also, the Kylo Ren base. Oh, yeah, true. I don't have a Kylo Ren. I do have a brick and Kylo Ren, though, so. I don't have any Kylo Rens. I don't have, I, I technically have a Ray, but I haven't opened it. I have the Octo Island training. And I feel just with this unique, it looks like it has a play function. If you look right here, we got this piece, I think. It's like it a play function. Well, I think you can knock the tree over, possibly. But if you look at the round plate Kylo Ren's on, that I think that's on a turntable, so you can like turn the, like you can spin the side of the round plate and he'll be able to swing his lightsaber back and forth. There's another one on the other side that you can place Ray on, I think. Yeah. I like it. It's cool. I'm going to pick it up. Yeah. I still probably won't pick it up, but cool. Uh, these so the Escape Pod versus Dubak Micro. This is already out. Oh, you, oh, you're right. Uh, it is cool though. I like the Dubak. All right, uh, out. already out. This one, dropship. That's new. I like this one. I have a personal connection to this. I one. have a problem with this one. Do I mean, want, do you want to go with your positives first, or do you want me to bring out my problem? Go ahead. Yeah. So my problem. This is a battle pack. Han Solo does not belong in a battle pack. I don't... Like, if anyone is going to be buying this as a battle pack, I'm sure they don't want, like, 27,000 Han Solos. And I'm pretty sure that Han Solo is going to become super-duper cheap. But this set does have three of the new Stormtrooper helmet, which I think a lot of people are going to like. So I'm expecting to see a lot of aftermarket uh, Han Solos people are trying to sell and get rid of, and it's going to go for, like, nothing. Well, so maybe I should sell mine before it has no value, but I have one right now. Oh, it's going to 
plummet to zero. I should sell it. I mean, especially if you're gonna buy the set. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I because I remember like what I you know uh, had the Infinity War minifigs like two months early or three months early. I ended up selling them and I made a ten dollar profit because you know eBay takes their percentage, so I yeah. only made ten dollars. But then since I knew I was gonna buy the sets, I didn't mind you know selling them, even though I still haven't bought all the sets that I had the minifigs for. But I still will, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, a, I recommend you selling your Han Solo. B, uh, I think that this set is cool if it's fifteen dollars, and I don't think Han Solo is worth the extra. I think it's twenty dollars. It's confirmed to be twenty. It, it is twenty dollars. But yeah. so what I'm saying is, if it was fifteen, it would be great. Uh, I don't think Han Solo is worth the five. I think I could see the set easily clearancing out because it's going to be like the the ten dollar box size, right? You know. No, it, it's going to be a fifteen dollar box size, like Battle Pack. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Okay, so fifteen dollar box size. People are gonna look at it, see that it's twenty. Unless you're like a true Star Wars fan, like this one, I'm buy it. really quickly. Uh, price chopped to sixteen from Walmart, and then I think people will be like, "Oh, that's fine." Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, like for me, it's like I have a personal connection to this one. But they they remade the Imperial dropship set, right? They upgraded it. It really doesn't look like anything like the old one did. But it is it is really cool that they're actually going and remaking a set that is based on a vehicle that they designed completely themselves. This has no basis in Star Wars. It's just, it is a Lego battle pack. So I think this is a great selection for a 20th anniversary set. Yeah. Yeah, and I look at it like this. Since I did own the, the old 2008, 2009, one or whatever it was, Yeah, um, that was my first Star Wars set. So I have a nostalgic connection to it. And for that reason, I will be picking the set up. Even did, at the old one, did the old, old one also have one Shadow Trooper and three Stormtroopers, or yeah. was it two and two? Yeah, that's right. It had uh, three Stormtroopers and then one Shadow Trooper. All right. Yeah, that's, that's all my thoughts. Do you have anything else? No. All right, nice set. Inferno Squad's already out. Praetorian Guard is already out, but that's a really cool set, and I might get it. Uh, Sith Infiltrator's already out. TIE Fighter's already out. The Blue Starfighter is out. A Wing is out. Um, we got some poly bags. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that if I see it in the store. It's fine. Uh, I don't care for it. It looks like garbage. Well, it, you know, it's not something that I will go out of my way to get. But if I see it in a store, I'll probably get it. I think it looks okay. I think these Star Wars poly bags are quite bad, to be honest. Like anytime I've seen a Star Wars poly bag that's not minifig based in a store, I've always been like, this is really ugly. The only one I have is the Pose X Wing because they gave it to me because they didn't have battle pods at Toys R Us um, what, during one of the promos where it was like a stacking Bricktober promo. So they just gave me a Pose X Wing. It's fine, but. No. Yeah. I think the micro vehicles from certain other themes are way better. Like the micro ice tank. That's where it's at. Yeah, that was good. I bought like eight of those. No, I actually bought like 10 of those, but I bought them for giveaways and I only gave away like two of them. So I have a bunch of those for some reason. Any other themes we should cover? Uh, go to the second page. There's a second page. There. Oh, there is. Yeah. Right. I'm pretty sure there's another set that did not get. Uh, oh, the Hoth generator. generator. Yep, that's the one I was looking for. Yeah, this is. Okay, this I think this is the one I'll be picking up. I don't know what the price on this one is. I think it's also thirty. Yeah. I think um, you're right. They did get their uh, four shield generators, so that's a good thing. It's kind of sad that this set is more uh, accurate than the uh, bigger set that they released, the Hoth yeah. Echo Base. Or yep, there, there's, there's, that's a thing. I don't know. I I don't hate Echo Base as much as many other people, but I, I do think that those certain accuracy things are problems. You know the, the weird thing, right? I feel yeah. like if somebody, when people start complaining about a set, you end up hating it more. Maybe that's just me, because... Originally, I remember when the Echo Base got revealed. I thought it was an okay set. I think that that's a big factor with movies, too. Like, The Last Jedi, a lot of people really liked it when it first came out, including Ryan, for example. I think in his, the first video he mentioned it after seeing it, I think he was really happy with it. And then, with the internet being what it is, I think it's driven a lot of people to not like The Last Jedi. The, I still think the internet always skews your perspective. The internet did not skew my perspective. I'm going to stand by Last Jedi. It's a good movie. I feel like when a lot of people are complaining about something, you really hop on the bandwagon. A lot of people do. Not everybody. 
Yeah. That's was true. it you getting a message or was that me? Um, I might have gotten a message somewhere. I don't know. I just heard a noise. Like a ding or whatever. It was a Hangouts notification, I think. I think that's Discord, to be honest. I think that's my Discord. Uh, oh, it, it might have been Discord. I think I have Discord open. Yeah, I do. That was Discord. Okay. You can continue closing Discord. You know what? I joined uh, TTV's Discord recently. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, I just had to back yeah, to that. Cool. But yeah, I think this is the one I'm going to pick up, actually. Unless, you know... Well, the Hoth base one really... Oh. I think this one's the same price as the Ewok one, and I think the Ewok one's better. Yeah, I think they're both 30. I like this one better than the Ewok one. I don't know. Uh, the Ewok one. I, I think at that point it's just down to personal taste. Yeah, true. All right. Let's uh, close that one and scroll down and see if there's any others. Uh, April sets we haven't gotten to. Advent calendar is obvious and direct to consumer. All right. So we're done with Star Wars. Anything else? Any other themes you guys want to talk about? Um, Sega so Bruce's and Game Says, they're only two, but we can look at them quick, I guess. Because I don't think there are official images of the third one yet, so we just won't. But we'll only show whatever's on Brickset. And you gotta year it up. Okay, skip over Spider Man stuff. Do. War Machine Buster. I think you skipped over the like, or the Quinjet, unless it doesn't have a price in the database yet. But this one's good. I like this. So I made a thoughts video on this. <laughs> no, okay. Um, basically, it's a silver or a gray Hulk Buster. That's what it is, right? The the aesthetic, the bulkiness, everything is done better if you compare it to every other Hulk Buster. If you were to turn this one red, right, or the dark marine color. It would be better than the other ones still. Yeah, you know? the one thing that I kind of dislike about it is the fact that they, um, just or the fact that they raise the price by five dollars just because they give it a shoulder cannon. Because the original Hulkbuster had the uh, had the little Hulk capturing thing on the side. Uh, yeah. So you know, it's not even just that they can't add a side build. I feel like it should be thirty, but thirty-five dollars is not unreasonable. And you know, you get the new Ant-Man helmet, which is good. Yeah. I have no complaint about the set. The price is fine with me. What are your thoughts on the new helmet for Ant Man? Think it's better. They're, they're using the, um, the Firefly's fire. helmet. They're recoloring it to have a, the you know the gold. I mean the gold. I'm done. The silver color. Um, it looks good. I like it. Yeah. Do you think it's? Do you think it's a problem that it doesn't have the translucency for the eyes? No, that doesn't bother me. Though. Yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Uh, the the one thing I will say, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this War Machine's helmet, but I'm sure I'll be fine with it once I've seen the movie. But I don't know. It's just the printing on it looks a little weird. Yeah. And Outriders are just Outriders. Yeah, I, I, I get sick of the Outriders, but I understand they're the star of the movie, technically. I'm, I'm also a little bit confused by the fact that they have claws. I don't know. That's, that's just a little weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's fine, the Quinjet. And AWM says Jurassic World. I guess we can cover Jurassic World after. Yeah. Uh, Hall of Armor also sounds promising, but... Yeah, for sure. And this one has a teal brick separator. Yeah. Oh, Flintstones has a teal brick separator. I found that out the other day. And it does, like, yeah. That is true. Yeah. I need a teal brick separator. I gotta get one. No, uh, they're not as cool as you think. They're okay. No, they're, they're as cool as I think. <laughs> How do you know? How do you know how cool I think they are? Oh, fair point. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Uh, the Chitari figures in this are interesting. Yeah, I like them. Their weapons are actually really well built up. They use that little like hinge, like uh, what piece were they? Like I don't know what how you describe that piece. One by one, uh, one by one round. Or one by one modified plate with bar rounded and something, etc. Yeah, you got it. You're perfect at this. Yeah, I like this set in general. You know, the mini figs are great. Other than the Hawkeye mini fig, they did a bad job on him, which I complain about. I know Hawkeye it makes me really sad, but I, I, I do have every version of Lego Hawkeye except for the micro figure version from the Two Inch I have every mini figure of Hawkeye, so. Yeah. Also, there's something about this photo that makes me 
uh, that makes Thor's hair look like it's dark tan instead of the color it is, but I'm pretty sure it's the color it is. It's like a brownish orange color. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same color it's been in the past, but just for some reason this picture doesn't look like it. Yeah. I, I think it's because Black Widow's hair looks like it's this color, but it actually is like the dark orange color. I don't know. I think it's just something weird about the colors of the set that just make it look off. I was really thrown off by Black Widow's hair originally. Yeah, it's it's fine. I don't have a problem with it. I feel like that hair piece really just doesn't represent her that well. Well, she's gonna have a ponytail in the in Endgame. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. Also, um, Rocket has Rocket's the only one with like a new uh, head, I think, because he has like the printing for the shoulder pads that are different than before. But I think. Thor's head is the same as before. Black Widow's is also. Hawkeye's could be new, but I think it's I think it's something that we've seen before. Maybe Young Han Solo. Yeah. From also, that little side vehicle, I assume that'll fit somewhere inside the Quinjet. That's a prediction. Yeah, you're most likely right. You know, the thing is, since I didn't own the Age of Ultron Quinjet, I'm pretty sure, didn't the old one have like the ability for the vehicle to drop out of it or the bottom of it i think maybe the bike could I yeah, you press the button the bike would drop out i always wanted it for that i remember watching jessica's review back in the day and yeah i remember my dad bought one on clearance to resell and he still has it sitting in the closet he never sold it you should buy it you should take it from him i don't, I don't really want it not for 55 bucks Make him an offer, be like two bucks or something. Well, he spent $55 on it. There's a sticker on the box to prove it. Yeah. But I still feel like that's a good deal, right? Eh, eh, debatable. It has not gone up in value much at all. So that's why he hasn't sold it. And the, the bike is not on Brickset yet, right? I don't know. All right. I'm guessing this week. Yeah, most likely we'll see the rest of the sets get revealed. I I would be surprised if they, unless they're going to drop them on Captain Marvel's release date and like actually release all the sets physically, which I doubt is going to happen. Um, but I feel like they'll wait until after Captain Marvel's opening weekend and then maybe reveal them. I feel like as Amazon's going to end up revealing more, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. I feel like though this is also regarding the Quinjet, this is probably the most aesthetically um, pleasing Quinjet. Um, it it doesn't look like Quinjets that we're used to, but I'm sure once we've seen it in the movie, I feel like it'll be the most aesthetically pleasing. But it like doesn't scream Quinjet to me yet. If you knew and that's it. why I like it, but it doesn't, you know, like you were saying, exactly scream Quinjet. You know? Yeah, I think. I think the best looking is still the, like the most the most Quinjetty to me is still the first one. Fair point. So do we want to get to Jurassic World? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. You know what sets I'm really happy for? The Far From Home. Like I'm a huge Spider Man nerd, and You're we're very finally happy getting... for them. Or yeah. Because like... we're finally getting Mysterio, and that's who I've wanted for. Why, why are you happy for them? Did they? Did they accomplish something? <laughs> yes, they did. I, you know. Yeah, like congratulations. I'm happy for you. I start seeing post Malone congratulations. <laughs> um, Sacred Bricks asks, "How many sets do I own?" According to Brickset, I have logged one thousand one hundred twenty-eight sets, which puts me at a higher number than BFAB, But most of those are probably collecting many figures. Let's see. What does Brickset say on? I can't uh, even. It's see. on the top of your screen. Is one thousand eighty-nine. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's see. First, we have this set the T Rex versus Dynamic Battle. I'm very, very mixed on this set. I, I like the. Well, you go first. You, you can give me your thoughts, and then I'll. I'll give me I'll one second. I'm going to meet myself. So you okay. should actually cover I'll give my thoughts. Um, so uh, the T Rex. It's good. It's fine. It's a good new color for it. Um, the volcano is okay. It is what it is. Um, the little boat is fine, and I really, really love the new raptors and the fact that we have all four of them. Uh, I think blue is the same as it was before, but the other three are brand new. 
and that is cool. But the and uh, I guess the rest of the minifigures are fine. Uh, the one thing that's kind of cool is we get uh, Owen with the Carnotaurus Gyrosphere Escape torso, except unscratched, so it's a new version that's exclusive. Claire's also a new design. And actually, he might not. Owen might not be exclusive. He might be in one of the other sets based on this uh, Legend of Easily Nublar um, little sub theme thing. Uh, but then there's also a new version of Hoskins, who we haven't seen since Jurassic World one sets. Um, this is a younger looking version, so he has black hair instead of gray hair. Uh, the um, the Robo T Rex, though, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it's cool to get it in the Jurassic Park color scheme, but other than that, uh, so you know what I just realized, right? Yeah, they use the ice picks for claws. Yeah, that is the most creative thing that I've seen. But I'm guaranteeing, like, if you're playing around with those, or especially like a kid playing well, around with those, they those are gonna claw pretty, really easily. They're stuck pretty far in, and those things, like the parts that they're stuck into, those Exophor's arms, they have really, really strong clutch power. Like it's hard to get stuff in and out of them. But I feel like if a kid were playing with it, it'd fly out really easily. Yeah. Also, one thing that I just noticed is it actually like they have sticker detail for the mud on the feet. Oh dang! Yeah. Yeah. I just noticed that. That's. I don't know that. There's a lot of stickers on this thing. I think unless some of this Jurassic Park color scheme detailing is printed, but I doubt it. They like okay, so they took the color scheme for the first movie's vehicle. Like we yeah. still haven't have it got like one of those vehicles. I, know. I, I want one of those vehicles. If they do a Jurassic Park Visitor Center set, though, you know that it's gonna happen. The thing though, if you look on the um I don't know if this is here, I'm gonna cross out this for one second. I don't know if Brickset has it. Okay, so it's still saying we're getting yeah. a direct to consumer set here, but they've been saying this yeah. for a year already. I, I think that um they probably originally planned it for last year and then pushed it back yeah so i can tell you we are getting a visitor center you know i'm 95 percent sure uh, i'm kind of disappointed if they do because i was hoping for just the explorer by itself in a small set which i think would have sold really well and i think they should have done that i think if a lot of people want a visitor center like the idea is project reached yeah. like the ten thousand vote threshold and people want a visitor center yeah but people, i i I think they would have been better off making a visitor center and a small um, and a separate explorer. And set. maybe they might include like the explorer set as a part of the visitor center. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming that's probably what's going to happen, but I want it to be a separate set. <laughs> so you don't have to pay like two hundred dollars or anything. Yeah, I'm just happy if we get a visitor center. But yeah, like, I guess I probably don't regard- think it'd be too expensive, but yeah. But regarding the set. I know a lot of people don't like the little, like, volcano bill. I love it. You know, obviously, it's not supposed to be an aesthetically appealing build. It's not supposed to. You have well, the... I, mean, even, I think it looks fine. I, yeah. I don't I don't hate it, but it's not a draw to the set for me. I, well, like, I know I, a lot of people were complaining about how it looks. Like, what do they expect? What, what do you expect? Like, the, I, you don't really... You're not supposed to expect a lot from a volcano. Uh, V- Eight out of the M says VFAB actually has a good opinion for once. Ow. Oh, the pain. Uh, and the best part is immediately after that, it's like the next comment was Stan saying, ouch. You guessed it. But uh, it's like, you know, the boat looks good, but they didn't just also give us like a straight up like uh, city mold, you know, when they use those for the boats and stuff. Yeah. They actually built out a raft. And in yeah. this case, it looks better. I mean, that adds, like, by them building it out, it kind of makes it look more fat. You know? And there's, and there's a, little more, uh, a little more space. And you also get the cool printing on the front. Yeah. Uh, assuming that's a print, it could be a sticker. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a print. Also, right, right. my favorite thing about this set, though, still has to be the baby raptors in all four colors. Oh, you're right. They are differently colored. I didn't even realize that. And only one of them is the old colors. They didn't even reuse the orange one for... Echo, I think, is that one. Wow, I didn't even realize this. Let's see, this is the issue when you're doing news videos and you try to be the first. You don't really recognize all the little details. Yeah. I love the, the T-Rex. The T-Rex is also cool. I love when they yeah. give us more different, you know, variants of dinosaurs. As AW pointed out, it's the most accurate to the movie that we've ever gotten. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let's get to the next one. Big fan as well. He says it's uh, cool and fun. Uh, AWM thinks the volcano is weak and just thinks it makes it more expensive. Uh, and 
No, this one's sixty dollars. Oh my gosh, for me it doesn't look like sixty dollars. Yeah, this one doesn't look like sixty dollars, but you do have to consider that previously on the aftermarket to buy a new um, a new Triceratops was like sixty dollars by itself. So that is true. But I mean, the piece count I think is like what is it? It's, four stuff. It is at. 447. So, I, 447. I can, see being, I can see it being 45. I mean, I even understand 50, but 60. It doesn't seem like a... Me, looking at the set, like, when I look at the set, I go, this is like a $40 set, in my opinion. If you took away the dinosaur, it yeah. looked like a $40 set. No, if you if you took away the dinosaur, it looked like a $30 set. Because I would... Exactly say, right. Yeah, it looked like a $30 if it was a, If it was a... um. If it was a forty dollars set without the dinosaur, the dinosaur would add like fifteen bucks in this case, since it is a Triceratops. So then it would be pretty much on point. You know what? You're right about that. Yeah, it looks like a thirty dollars set without the dinosaur. Yeah, you're right. It does look like a thirty dollars set, and that's the the issue. Like, I'm gonna buy the set. I'm gonna buy all the Jurassic World sets. That's my goal to try to get them all. Also, you know? the version of Maserani in this set is cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I really don't care that much about the minifigs when it comes to these sets. It's more the builds of the also, dinosaurs I buy them. The eggs in that uh, tan color is cool. Yeah, I agree. Of course. And it's also like they have like a little spinny ride. As you can see, like you spin that around, it's a little ride. And, and also, the this play feature um, with the gate, it looks like you can lift up the Technic axle to make it, you know, a full regular looking gate. And you, since those are flexible pieces, you can just push it down and like break through the gate. And that's kind of cool. Yeah. And also, oh, yeah, the, right, yeah. the sign is really neat. Just the fonts on there. That's cool. Who's that female character? Have we got... Oh, um, there's actually two of them. The lab character, I think, is from the show. And then the other female is just a visitor, I think. Okay. But I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen it. With based on, I don't think the lab character is based on anyone from the movie. I could be wrong. Okay. And then for the buggy, it's whatever, right? You know, I feel like that was just like... We get those all the time. We haven't gotten one with the Jurassic World logo on the front, though, so this one is the coolest thing ever. Did we get one of the Blues helicopter, though? Like something really yeah, you're right. dragging right. around something? I don't know if it had a logo on it, though. Yeah. Are you guys enjoying this, like, podcast? Yeah, uh, this is like a, this is the beta version of our podcast. Yeah. So if you enjoy it now, you better, you know, you know, you'll... So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the title to be... Uh, What's a good podcast name? Talking about, I don't know, new sets or 2019 sets. I have Rick and E Fab Podcast. Podcast Beta. I'm going to call it the Live Beta. Hey guys, B Fab, are you sick? No, I'm just tired. When I'm tired, it's like. <laughs> There we go. This is the Beef Head and Brick by Brick podcast beta. E. Okay, continue. This one. Okay, so I think I said this in the, my thoughts video. I think this is my favorite set. I, the new dinosaur is really cool. Yeah. So I feel like... Oh, wait. I, I looked it up real quick. We did get a in the Raptor Escape from the first movie. We did get an ATV, but it didn't have a Jurassic World logo. And the blue the one in blue's helicopter didn't have a Jurassic World logo so my statement while it was not as it was not correct the way i me meant it to be it was technically correct because that is the first that we've gotten with a Jurassic World logo on it so yeah my statement was right but not as right as i thought anyway back to this you want to go first um you can go first so for this set, okay, so I like the little, um, like, van, van, not van, the little buggy, or what, you call it like a dune buggy type? A, a jeep, I would say. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot, you're right, that is kind of like a jeep, yeah. So you got the little jeep thing pulling the little trailer. I like it. I mean, most of the time you're getting, like, these trailer builds and city stats and stuff, and this is more like a rustic, like, camping trailer. Like, the city ones, if you look at those, they're very um, fancy. You know, this okay. one's just like a, this is like a trailer for broke people. So if you're broke, that's yeah. your trailer. You know, I like it. Um, I wonder if this is supposed to be like Owen's trailer. Yeah, Owen, uh, this is what happened to Owen, you know, after he... Well, no, no, he, he did live in a trailer. What happened? 
He did live in a trailer, not in Jurassic World 1, but in the second one. Didn't he live in, like, a trailer? Oh, I didn't see right. this. Oh, no, he, he, was building a, he was building a house, but he, he has lived in trailers at various points. And this, this is actually a prequel, so he would have lived in a trailer. So this is what happens when you, you know, you can't pay your bills, you live in a trailer. You can't yeah. afford a house. Thing, the thing that I did just notice that this uh, has him with his vest, the other Legend of Isla Nublar sets don't. Yeah. Oh, the smaller one does. Never mind, I lied. But actually, did you notice that in the previous two sets, Owen has had uh, the, or in the biggest set, he had the that this shirt without the vest, but and without his shirt being torn on the bottom, like in the Carnotaurus Gyrus for Escape. So technically, the Owen figure is exclusive in the larger set. I didn't even realize set. that. I, I just realized that today. So while you were muted, <laughs> well, that's good. You recognize that. Yeah. Um. And then for the dinosaur, it's a good build, right? I mean... It's a new mold, so that's nice. The terrain looks good. I feel like you literally captured water and, a, like, uh, the forest aspect. I don't Not the forest aspect. Jungle aspect? Jungle aspect, yeah. Really well. And then there's a lot of diamonds. In I here. like the fish jumping out. I wonder where the diamonds are supposed to go. Yeah, oh, there's a treasure chest right there, probably in that. Yeah, most likely. I also like the new dog. I wonder if that uh, tape piece right there is printed. The what? Piece? And the map too. The the like cassette tape piece, the one by two. Oh black yeah, that's how it's printed. That's a cool new print, though. Agreed. And the map too, nice. So uh, and the dog is really really neat. I bet the dog's going to show up in more places, though. I don't think it'll remain exclusive to this. Also, the figures. Um, this guy with the hat, uh, I don't think he's based on an existing Jurassic World character we haven't gotten before, but he does look um, look kind of similar to Roland Tembo from like Jurassic Park. He's not the same, though. So, uh, And then this guy, the guy with the glasses, looks kind of like Nedry, because he's supposed to, but he isn't. Uh, he's like a knockoff Nedry. I don't know. It's just weird. But yeah, I don't know. I, I I like this set for the most part. Are you gonna pick it up? Probably not. Still, Fair I, I got to save money, man. And last but not least, we have the Dilophosaurus on the loose. This one I might buy. You want to go first, or sharing your thoughts? I think you should go first. Uh, okay. So I like the uh, the figures in this one are good. I like the kid with the Jurassic Park shirt and also the hat hair combo. It would have been really neat if the hat had uh, Jurassic World logo printed on there because she's a staff member. Uh, Owen is, you know, fine. I believe that's an existing expression for him. Uh, also, popcorn is cool. You get some popcorn. Uh, the build for the little shack is cool. You get the coming soon sign. The stickers on this are good. There look there will probably be some cool stickers on this 2 by 2 tiles in the crate. And you get some extra hats. The drone is fine. Uh, probably the weakest part of the set, but like it's still good. And like it looks good. And it has some play features. I don't know. It's, it's, it's good. And the Dilophosaurus is interesting to me because they downscaled the original Dilophosaurus. This one is now one piece. I wish it had been two pieces and you could turn the head, but it's fine. Oh my goodness, you're right. You, you didn't notice that this is a no, I didn't. It's one per piece. Name. Yeah. I and the older set where you could turn the head and connect it to the, you know. But Dilophosauruses are actually a lot smaller than um, than the ones that had been seen in previous sets. And, like, even this one I think is still too big, technically. But it's a way better, way more, way closer to an accurate scale. So Lego technically just made a brand new mold for that. Yeah. I... I have mixed feelings. I think that, yes, this is better, but I think it would have been better used on designing a new dinosaur. Yeah, I mean, that, that was a waste of, you know, a mold. But they will be using this from now on, so I guess that's a good thing. Well, Sans and JK Films says, hello. Yes, we, hello. Oh, JK Films is here. Welcome. Sans has been here for a while. Yeah, I know. He's been here, but he said hello. So. Oh, okay. That drone is so unique. Like, he's flying on a little drone. That's cool. I like it. The gift shop... Uh, it's a really cool little build. It's a little dino gift shop. Uh, we don't really see a lot of, like, stand builds for Lego. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, we do, but not in, like, never in stuff like this. 
Yeah, well, we get like city stands, like a hot dog yeah. cart or a popcorn cart. Nothing really like to this. Uh, the, the one thing that is really good about this wave of Jurassic World says is it builds on the Jurassic World part of Jurassic World and not just the dinosaurs. Yeah. Here's a good thing about all these sets. By us getting these sets, because as you guys know, this is a um, kind of like a collaboration project between Lego and Universal. There, there is um, going to be a 10 episode or 13 episode 13, yep. series, Lego Jurassic World cartoon series. So that'll be interesting. I'll probably watch it. Yeah. So, good. I'm hyped for it. And this proves, right? And they already said like Jurassic World sets sold very well. They were in the top yeah. five. They weren't in the top five, no. But no? they were in. Um, they were honorable mention for selling really well. The same with Harry Potter. Like the top five were still the typical um, city classic or no classic. I didn't they were in the top four or five. No, no, the top four were Star Wars, Ninjago, City, Friends, and Technic. Oh, and you're right. You're right. Harry oh, Potter yeah. and Jurassic World and Classic and Creator got the honorable mentions for selling pretty well. Okay, okay, that's good then. Okay, but the thing is, under it's understandable that you know, example for Harry Potter, we only got them released in August, like 2019. We were discussing this before. They will be a top seller. They will be in the top. You know, Harry Potter. Yeah, I snowed up for a second, but yes, yeah. Harry Potter will definitely be a top seller. Now, the Jurassic World, by us getting this stuff, this this like thing that Lego and Universal created as like an original thing, this proves that the sets sold decent enough, or actually fairly well, that they do this. Because if it didn't well, sell well... No, if they, they obviously planned this out, though, before these ones started selling. Before, yeah, but they, they can tell by the previous sales, like for the first yeah. wave of Jurassic World that sold well. That they could do this, you know. I, I I guess that's a good point. They probably would have started designing these after the sales of the first movie, so now that's why they'll probably keep Jurassic World around for a while. Yeah, yeah. I feel like we'll keep getting sets until like a new movie comes out, then we'll keep getting them. I feel but like it is good to be able to have dinosaur sets on the market because there was a period of time, you know, like a two year period where there wasn't any before the first Jurassic World movie. Well, yeah, and the kids they they want the yeah. the dinosaurs, you know, yeah, they want the dinosaurs. That. And, like, uh, some people are going to be complaining, like, oh, it should be an original theme and not just Jurassic World. But, like, Jurassic World, it, if, like, it, it satisfies the need of giving kids dinosaur sets. And it also simultaneously satisfies people who want sets based on Jurassic World slash Park. So, you know, might as well kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, and I'm happy with these sets. None of them, there's not one of these sets where I look and go, well, this is bad. You know? The other thing is that even with this wave, it shows that they're not limiting themselves to, you know, realistic stuff based on the movies with this new dino mech. You know, you will still get cool, goofy things like that that would you'd find, you'd expect from, like, Lego original themes and not licensed themes. But, yeah. You know, get cool stuff like that from this through. I, so I wonder if they'll keep that TV series going. I think they will, as long as there's, like, you know, uh, positive feedback. It seems like most yeah. of the Lego series at least start off well. You know, yeah, it's all about how it continues. Like, if you know, if it continues getting yeah. views and this and that, you know, I will say I have not been overly impressed with the secret exhibit um, special that they did before. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't I memorable. I saw it. I can't even tell you what it's about. Yeah, it it was okay. Oh, Julian's Brick City is your welcome, and Creative Bricks as well. Yeah. AWN says Jurassic World is currently his favorite Lego theme. That's and he wants, his, he wants his favorite to be DC, but he hasn't been impressed with those sets lately, which I would agree with. DC sets have been really lame. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, look at the 2019 DC sets real quick. Okay. Because there have been... It's... Actually, I wonder if you'll have to look at Batman specifically. No, because Brickset has it like this. They still consider them superheroes. That's good. So we've already seen these two. Nothing else has been. But yeah, like this is their 2019 offering so far. And yeah. this set is. Eh, I don't like the mech. Firefly is the only cool thing about it. And dual molded legs for Flash. Yeah. Well, I like this set. The reason I like it is because. I like getting Batman vehicles. Most people don't, but I love getting Spider-Man Batman vehicles. The more they make, the more I buy. So I have no complaint with them, you know? 
Eh. They are getting worse, though, you know? Yeah. And then... I can agree with that. The other one is another Batman submarine. Yay. Yeah, this one looks crappy, in my opinion. It doesn't even look like a submarine. It looks like a... It's like an like underwater drone. Yeah. But yeah, like, like these sets are... Eh. I'll end up picking up both of them anyway. Um, I want to wait for them to at least be on clearance. But I'll pick up neither. The only DC set I bought recently is the Justice League Atlantis one, just because it was seven dollars on clearance. Well, that's a good deal. Yeah, but with Aquaman or whatever. Yeah, I bought three and I've sold. I sold either one or two of the Aquamans, and like I sold Aquaman for like seven fifty. So I like. You profited already. I, I, yeah, basically just you broke free. even. Yeah. So I, I got free bricks and Atlantis Garden. Oh, uh, shoot. I'm still not even close to building this, but I'm going to probably have to head off to sleep. I'm tired as heck. All right. Well, not the second, but, you know. Yeah. We'll see if there's anything else that maybe if there's one other thing that people want to see thoughts on, and then we can wrap it up after that. Probably wrap it up in, like, 15 or 20 minutes or so. Yeah. I'm probably going to start building. This is funny. In the, like, three hours I've been on here, I've got, like, nothing done. And you said you got, like, several pieces done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, right now, I've built the water filter or the the water uh, thing. Is that, is that the total amount of building you've done? Just the water filter? Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. That's yeah, just all the progress. I need a bigger bed because this is really awkward building on a bed. bed. Yeah. And you know what you need? You need a desk that you can build stuff on that's not covered in Lego. Well, that's the thing. I, did, I did have a desk so I got covered in Lego. Yeah, so here, here's, a, here's a suggestion. Why don't you get some shelves so you can put your Lego on your <laughs> shelves and not on your desk? Uh, the thing is, I don't like sitting on building Lego anyway. I just need a bigger bed because I have like a. So I used to have a queen size bed, right? And then that got destroyed. I don't know how it got destroyed, but it got destroyed. Um, and then so then I got a, a, a twin size bed, and this is really small. Well, the twin size bed leaves more room on your floor for your Lego. Yeah, I guess you could look at it like that. That was uh, that was not supposed to be positive in any way. <laughs> you should get some shelves. Uh, All right, the petition will get to uh, 200 signatures, and then you'll buy shelves. And then you won't have these problems anymore. Fair point, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Have you built the little boxing ring? Uh, I haven't finished it. I got the base part yeah. of that. Oh, the, you got the base part, the one big tile? Yeah. <laughs> Very complicated build. <laughs> This is my one piece put uh one piece build. I put a tile on plates. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna head out, Jeff. I need to go to sleep. All right. You know what? I'll end off the stream here then. And uh, chat just kinda like the chat just basically died after we talked about DC sets. Well, like a nope. Yep, no, they they decided DC sets are so bad that we might as well just end the stream. But yeah, this has been a fun yeah. podcast. Yeah, this is the Brick by Brick and BFAB podcast live beta. So Leave your feedback in the comment section down below if you watched the whole thing for some reason. And yeah. So thank you for joining me, BZEB. Yeah, thanks for the invite and see ya. Thanks for joining us, everyone in the chat, and we'll see you guys all. Adios.